Hey, this is Jet Black, and you're listening to Three Black Geeks. The most America fuck yeah. Well, not really. Of of movies. Uh, not really. It would be if no, it was an American no, saving say, the president. <laughs> I would say uh I would say, hey, was there was there a competition? Was this like the fifty cent Kanye? Uh, thing where they said, "Hey, we're gonna put out Olympus is Fallen. You guys put out White House Down. Who? I like, just because both of these movies came out in the same year. Yeah, same year. You know what, Eris? What we really get with Hollywood every now and then is when two ideas spring up, and they one may have started before the other, but two ideas come up, and somehow, some way, they come out in the exact same year." Around the exact same time, and people get confused. Here's a here's a fun Apparently, fact. Apparently, Olympus is Fallen was the better one. So here we go. No, here's the thing. I I I, I disagree. Awesome. Yeah, I know where. Shut up. We're getting to that. Let's go. Here's the thing. Awesome. Here's the funny thing. So today, folks, we're talking about Olympus is Fallen. Here's the funny thing, D. Olympus is down. Olympus is Fallen was supposed to be a parody of White House Down. And it turned out to be the better. Man. And it the turned, better. No, no, not the better. It turned out to make more money than White right. House. Day. It made more money. I still feel a lot of the, the big thing on Twitter at the time that these both of these movies came out. White House Down was the better movie narratively, but Olympus Has Fallen made more money than White House Down. I think one went more kaboom <laughs> to the other, and that's what really won it. Well, yeah, everybody I, liked Olympus Has Fallen because of all, you know, Gerard Butler, three, Mr. 300 himself, and just how wang, bang, boom that whole fucking movie was. Meanwhile, and for some White reason, White had people, Channing, Tatum, Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx on the other side. And some, for some reason, white people have fallen in love, like over the, the moon with Morgan Freeman. And yeah, yeah, he was so on the face of so, it. <laughs> so much so. When I see Angela Batchelor show up, I go, it wasn't this. How did Morgan Freeman beat you out? <laughs> Top billing. Uh, question. That's did, anybody goes, else, did anybody else notice that this was the White House interpretation of Die Hard? Yeah. See, that's what I thought it was going to go. No, it, it, was, was, it was Die Hard White House edition. But, you know, White House Down was the same way. Okay. White House no, Down was no, White House no. Down was cleaner in no, terms. It was of their, a lot cleaner, die, a lot cleaner like, with, yeah. their, with their Die Hard. This one's more grittier and gruffer because you have Gerard Butler playing, you know, the John McClane. Except he's not a fucking everyman. Yeah, he's not <laughs> an everyman at all. Chris, Chris, now this reminds me of the Rick and Morty uh, episode that just came on about Die Hard. You know, the thing that got me. A <laughs> man was like, like "Oh, so like, you're gonna have a gun behind your head like in Die Hard?" Die Hard. No, she's like, she's like this. She's like, she's like, she doesn't follow the rules of Die Hard, <laughs> which makes her the ultimate McLean. <laughs> That episode was fucking hilarious because Peter really Dinklage. Peter Dinklage made that whole episode way better for no reason. Because look, it was so funny. When I, I heard his gun. voice. Oh, when I heard his oh, voice, I was like, oh. <laughs> "When I heard his voice, Angel was like, that's a good Alan Rickman.'" I was like, "Hey, wait a minute, that's an American doing a British accent, <laughs> but but it's a good British." That's Peter Dinklage. <laughs> now, here's the thing, folks. You know what pissed me off about this movie? Now, this movie is coming to us from Millennium Entertainment. Um, as I said in the at the end of the last episode, <laughs> Millennium Entertainment was the remnants of Golden Globus. Mm-hmm. Um, at the time that White House Down, at the, well, not White House Down, um, Olympus is Falling came out. They were on the roll making a lot of movies. Like they they did the first two Expendable movies at this. Expendables two had came out already at this point. Um, mm-hmm. They Deep had from Rambo four. Yeah, Rambo 4, Scott Atkins had the ninja movies under them and stuff, and they had the Boyka Undisputed movies, which to this day, I'm still amazed that that dude literally said, hey, fuck you, black people, it's going back to the white man. <laughs> going to Russia. Much, he he the Russian. Like, like Scott Atkins pretty much owns the, the Undisputed franchise now. Yeah, I mean. Hey, 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 Chris, going to the Russians, played by a British man. I know, right? <laughs> 
we're we're running we're we're rooting for the Russian man. It's like yo, know, after the second one, I was like, all right, you know, black man beats the shit out of the Russian. Third one, we're rooting for the Ruskies. I'm like, ah, oh, that was weird. No, but we're his friend now because he let the black guy free at the end with him. Remember, it was yeah. a buddy buddy thing. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen Boyka. I wonder what Boyka's actually about. really good. Yeah. So really I did good. see Boyka. That's what happened in Boyka. Yeah, anyway, yeah Boyka, they did four of those movies, and I was like, hey, Yeah, I didn't see the fourth one. I didn't see yeah, the, the fourth, fourth one. was actually pretty good, but 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 Millennium Entertainment, they kind of follow the updated model of Golden Globus where they just make these boisterous movies that have good box office returns because the budgets aren't stupid ridiculous, basically. Um your budget's going to be, because the budget's low, the special effects is going to be a bit wonky. Mm-hmm. Expendables, they were able to cover up a lot of that shit. White House Down, ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen a movie that is so fucking Olympus lazy. Olympus is falling. Olympus is falling. Most movies, when they we're say We're going to be doing that, that all episode. I yeah. already know that. Most movies, when they say that it's filmed in D.C., they get B-roll shots. Even Tyler Perry, when he did, you know, Temptations, he did B-roll shots of D.C. and Georgetown and shit to kind of give you at least the illusion that it's in D.C., even though it's in fucking Atlanta, right? I got to be be real with you, Chris. A lot of those D.C. shots in that movie look like they got them off of uh, Vector. I know, but still, but you still believe it's like, all right, just something. Yeah, at least it's something, right? You kind of sort of believed it, right? Don't. but Duh, look at this. No, look, look. I know this is giving away the plot a little bit because we're going to go through it. But mm-hmm. look at this. Look at this shit. That is the most CG looking oh, Washington DC. This movie was. What filmed, is that? This movie was filmed in fucking Louisiana, and the street scenes were filmed in Brooklyn, New York. That is lazy as shit. What the yes. fuck? Yes, go go music stops. Ooh, they- <laughs> And here's the shitty part. They couldn't even get the dimensions right because the the, the Koreans that are attacking DC, one minute they're flying over Northern Virginia and somehow they hit DC airspace just like that. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just like that. They don't even cross over anything. Like you were coming from the Chesapeake Bay. That means you're coming through through Maryland, not through Virginia. And even if you did go through. Well, let's be real. (laughs) Let's be real. Let's be real. Anyone who's not paying attention would just assume that it's part of the White House detail. Dude, the front of the White House doesn't look like the No no Here's no no no. I'm not talking about I'm not I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about how you know come on, we all live we all live in this area. We know we always see random choppers flying around. Oh man, the rando the rando choppers. I was telling that to somebody, yeah. You hear rando choppers, and do you hear one chopper? You're like, oh, Marine One. And do you hear more rando choppers following it behind? Because oh, yeah. that's the goddamn president. Oh, but <laughs> like, but 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 I get I get the frustration, Chris, because because real talk, when we when, when we like when you have the the uh the news. You know, news correspondent choppers flying around. That's one thing. When you got mm. White House detail flying around, that's another thing. Mm. When you have a an entire hind D <laughs> leading the charge of North Koreans into the White House. I got a question. I, it was so obvious that it, it was, was filmed very in Louisiana obvious. because the, the 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 okay, I want people to understand the scale here, okay? The scale that they show of DC from the mall to the White House. Is small as shit. It makes it seem as though the mall, as soon as you step foot outside the gates of the White House, boom, you're on the mall. We've been in D.C. You know how much distance between the front of the fucking White House and the mall is? That's a walk. That is a it's fucking a turn, walk. turn, a turn, and a long walk down, then you're going to hit something. Joel Silver would have did a better job. He would have actually filmed some shit in D.C. It's not like, wrong. Like, dog, hey, yo, here's the thing, too. At least G.I. Joe filmed shit in D.C. At least they filmed it in DC. The only thing I can say DC. Now let me get this so let me get this straight. None of this was shot in in DC. Nothing. All Louisiana and some of the street shots was in Brooklyn, New York. Could have fooled me because because you you want to know the truth. Even I was wondering how the hell, like I'm sorry, even I was wondering how the hell is any of this DC? Everything looked way too clean. Thank you. The one thing I had a problem with, now, a lot of people will know this, um, D.C. is a southern city. Trust me, when it gets summertime out here, oh, it gets very Delta-like around this motherfucker. <laughs> but that word. being said, <laughs> even in that, I'm looking at the trees. Did you see the trees in front of the White House? Mm-hmm. Did you notice they look very droopy and hot and, Lord, how mercy, the vapors. Did it look like that? That was very Louisiana weather. 
Like they, 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 didn't, even, they didn't even try to give at least lie to you that this was the White House with the gates and all that stuff. No, I was like, no. Then again, you know how you know how much money this probably would have cost Millennium to to film all this shit in DC. Yeah, it would have cost a lot because it would have or would have. Let me get that. B-roll it shots. That's all they needed was just give me some fucking B-roll shots. You CGI you know what, DC Here's though, the man. Here's the thing. You could have got B-roll shots or you could just get somebody to put that on a CGI. We ain't got to put a f- chop out there. We the CGI say- looks so horrible to where when the fucking KC-130 fucking bomber that is so fucking advanced that it's just raining hellfire all over the unfortunate employees of the State you know what, Department. Chris, I got a question. All of them, you, I'm like... You were in the Air Force, Chris. So I got a question. If a big-ass bomber is that close to Washington, D.C., headed toward it, while there is, I don't know, a prime minister in the city, wouldn't there be more red flags to go off before he tell you touches what. Prince George's um, County? Um, 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 and both of you guys will agree. They wouldn't have asked old people to turn around. They would have blew that shit out the fucking sky. Eat, done. They wouldn't even ask. Look, they wouldn't they even have contact the them. Just boom. First, they would have blew out the sky, and they would have been apologizing to a bunch of niggas and Dumfries. <laughs> hey, man, we had it. Look. <laughs> We sorry okay. that big ass thing fell on top of that school. They was coming for the president, baby. We saw him. Um, first of all, <laughs> like first of all, first of all, they would have picked. First of all, that shit would have been picked up on scanners. Second of all, they would have identified what it was, mm-hmm. and they would have said, "Look, we ain't got that. That's not ours." Andrews what is it doing? Would, what is it doing in, in you know in the DMV airspace? Somebody from what? Andrews would have already had like. Bunch of F 16s flying out to that shit before it even hits. Nigga, you know, me. Hey, me. When y'all saw a two of them, could have went after that. <laughs> when y'all saw two of them, did y'all say the same thing? <laughs> no. 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 They'll be no. more. <laughs> Let me tell you something, y'all. During 9 11, we was all, we all live, we all right beside, I still live right beside Andrews Air Force Base. Do you know during 9 11, how many jets was lifting off of there? I think uh, Modern Warfare 2. When, oh, when, crap. When the, remember, when the, remember, the, remember the part where the Russians invaded the United States and you just see F-16s y'all, flying everywhere look, and shit? Here's the best That's part exactly this. what happened in 9 Oh, you look. And y'all know it because we're blocks away from each other. Our schools are blocks away. Granted, I'm probably closer to Andrews than y'all, but actually, I think we're about the same. Whatever. The point is this. <laughs> the point is this. The fact, the fact that we heard constantly... <sighs> 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 No, both towers have fell at this point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're still super. It really is like making MJ biopic, biopic, biopic with biopic everything in the Seattle. Yeah. It's like, bro, <laughs> like Seattle. Like I'm supposed to believe Gerard Butler is working in the fucking State Department and shit. Great, in his Eris, Now I wish I now I wish I had a picture of a uh, Sir Mix a lot. <laughs> Big beauty music stops. <laughs> I like big what nigga? <laughs> so so the movie so the so the movie is about one man named Mike Bandon. He's a Mike former Bandon. army ranger who is assigned to the Secret Service and he has a very budding relationship with President Asher. And um they box in the beginning of this movie because they're buddy buddies. They were in college together. Well, they weren't in college yeah. together, but they make it seem as though that they were kind of like college friends or some shit and stuff. Way, but, and look, man, history. These two got history. Yeah, they got these history. two got clear history. Look, man. Look, one like one's an army ranger. The other one just so happens to be the president of the United States. Um, hey, look, uh, as you do, wait, as you no, do, no, no, man, the, you know. The, hold up, hold up. The, I can make this even funnier. See, one happens to be Leonidas. The other one is Two Face. And then we got a uh, kiss the girls. <laughs> then took then, a minute. <laughs> then, then we got a uh, kiss the girls reunion with Ashley Judd and Morgan Freeman in the movie. Hi Ashley. Oh, man. Hi going? Ashley. Hi Ashley Judd. Hey, hey D. Yes, you wanted to tell us about your little f- secret crush over Ashley Judd. <sighs> okay, it's not a crush so much that I thought she looked good, and I was like a teenager, and I was like, ooh. You know, so I, I, but I know it's Ashley Judd. Trust me. She ain't touching. No, I never I seen her naked. Right. But for whatever reason, I thought she was cute. It would have hit. It would have hit me until I hit twenty years old. I was like, 
the fuck? I used to look at her. the chipmunk cheeks. That's what it was. Okay, cool. <laughs> but she ain't touch, she ain't, she ain't touch Diane Lane, but you know. I will give her this though. Ashley did. She did age very gracefully for a white. Yeah, very gracefully. Because she, really she was did, in the. Really good, she she plays the uh, villain in the Diversion movies, which to this day I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck those I, movies look, are about. I just like <laughs> the fact that. I just like the fact that Je Double Jeopardy didn't make her a star. That's what D remembers. Kiss the girls <laughs> did, but not Double Kiss Jeopardy. Kiss the girls did. No, it did it. It barely did. It barely moved that needle for the Ashley man. She was all. She it barely did, in my opinion. <laughs> well, let's. Be I got an answer. I, I got to answer this. He mm -hmm. said this is on par with Leon Kennedy going from rookie cop to Secret Service agent sent by the president to save his daughter. No, 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 first no, of no, all, no. first of all, first of all, first of all, man has six years. All right. He got picked up after surviving Raccoon City. Got trained. Went on like went on missions leading up to uh going to Eastern Europe and saving the president's daughter. What, what thing is this? Nah, these keeping her more of a buck. Um uh, uh um Army Ranger. Shut the fuck up. That's different. That Army Ranger is 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 a half hair away from being a Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm. They're Navy SEALs without all the fucking trauma. That's all they are. Yeah. Like, all I'm saying is we went to the training without crying, nigga. <laughs> My like, man. You have two, you have two roots. Army Ranger or Green Beret. Either way. <laughs> now I gotta ask you this, guys. Oh. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Look, this is <laughs> It's like, nigga, you could be Solid Snake or Rambo. Pick one. Hey, man, which one you want to do, dog? Which one you want to be? <laughs> Artificial human or PTSD for you the rest of your life? <laughs> well, you, you know. Wanna be, you want to be. I go the other wanna, way. Wanna, you want to be Cypher Filter or do you want to be Ghost Recon? Which one you want to be? <laughs> No, no, no. Siphon filter or splinter cell. Take your pick. Yeah, yeah siphon filter or splinter cell. Siphon filter or splinter cell. Here's me. Michael Ironside. Yeah, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. Michael Ironside. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody wants to be fucking siphon filter, even though I love Fuck those no. games. But, Fuck you know. no. I know. Si si it's so funny. Siphon filter and uh, 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 siphon filter, Metal Gear Solid, and what's the name? All Winter's three of them. Uh, all the all three of them just did different shit in the same genre. Not a nine studios had very uh, a crude crude gameplay to the early siphon filters. It was very yeah, crude. they really were. Oh man, you can you can bolo through that motherfucker <laughs> like seriously. Not you can use the you can use the silencer and just. Pew, 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 pew. I'm like, wow, this shit is fucking OP as hell. And then when you run, run. <laughs> and then when you run, your body is like this, but your legs are doing this. Oh, it's doing this like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like you're on this little weird thing where you're going on like right. <laughs> it's like nah. a, your legs suddenly go on rails. <laughs> now, here's my thing. There's a reason why 989 ain't here no more, y'all. This this is really where we're going at. <laughs> 989 nine. Studios. I will never forget 989 Studios for ruining NFL game day. I will never forgive I will never forgive them for ruining fucking cool borders. How do you go from cool borders they to the cool? cool borders, bro? Cool borders two was like peak and then cool boys three came out i'm like what the fuck is this shit <laughs> anyways well, anyway. speaking of what <laughs> you know, speaking of what the fuck is this shit here's my thing um so there's a weird relationship at work here when you're bffs with your the president that you're protecting and his wife is looking at you like she wants to fuck you when you give her the right choice in earrings that's very weird isn't it no it's not <laughs> no it's not you're leonidas <laughs> you are I'm Gerard Butler, and this is a very, very convincing American accent, isn't it? He talks uh, out yes, of the side of his mouth, dude. Like, and prior, talks out of the side of his mouth. Like prior to this, I was also in a romantic comedy. I was very believable. Gerard, Gerard <laughs> Butler was. You know what? You're right. I was because, also. I was also <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera, where I sing. <laughs> Gerard Butler before 300 was the guy <laughs> in romantic comedies, and as soon as he got on that fucking. Raw chicken and rice diet and got yeah, eight right. packs of shit that went out the window. It's like no more romantic comedy. We can't, we like can't look at you the same anymore. Do you like how? Do you like how? Right. Bounty, hold up, he played a bounty hunter in a romantic comedy. Well, afterwards, but after, even then, you. it's like nah, nah, bro. Like, dude, Let no. me tell you why acting ability doesn't fucking matter. Michael Fassbender was in that movie with him and. I have to remind people that, that Michael Fassbender was in that movie. It's like <laughs> Acting that... doesn't mean nothing. Who was hotter? 
Personally, it was Michael Fassbender, but I get why everybody <laughs> chose the wrong Butler. No, no, no. Who, who had the be- No, wait. Who had the better beard? That's no, the other. No, who had the better line? Who had the better line? We here's shall the, fight in the shade, nigga. If your dick didn't get hard. But here's, <laughs> but here's, the, here's the sick part, though, D. We forget that he was in 300, but we only got reminded he was in 300 when he was beasting out as Magneto. And I was like, hey, it's that hey, guy. You. Hey. I do. I did say that. <laughs> I literally said, oh, so that's who Michael Fitz. We, we, we all pulled the Rick Dalton. We all pulled the Rick Dalton. No, no, Aaron. No, no, Chris, Chris. I did this two years after X-Men came out and I saw 300. I said that. <laughs> God. Oh yeah, Eris, Eris. My wife wanted to tell you, and I'm saying this live on air. My wife wanted to tell you, Eris, go get help. We must consult the Oracle. <laughs> go get help. Go get help. That's what she <laughs> did. <laughs> Listen, you know full well <laughs> because that caught me off guard when you said that. You know full well that was the best thing. We must seek the Oracle. <laughs> You have to do the lippy hands. <laughs> oh God! Real quick, real quick. I still. I love day. how we're going off subject. <laughs> this movie gives us a lot. Trust me, hey, this hey, is hey. not a sign of us not liking this. This movie uh, sucks, but it gives you a I, lot. I understand. I laughed. I still to this day. Before we move on, that in the sequel, Rise of an Empire, they got somebody that's Australian that tried to be like Gerard Butler. And I'm like, dog, just be yourself, man. You're not Why? Gerard Butler. It ain't working. Stop it. Why? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. All right, you're not Gerard Butler. Just let yeah, it go. We're gonna, go. we're gonna do the rainbow on this bitch. Like, no, we'll do no. rainbow crackers in this bitch. Not like no fam. This movie, this fam, movie you ain't you ain't it. You ain't it. Like buddy, hey buddy, man, you ain't got that Scottish flair we was looking for. Like here. please, please, less of this. That more pure like, less Greek of this. Scottish flair. No, less of this. More Lena Headley, please. <laughs> hey, that, right, on, mm. Yeah, I need I need more Lena Headley because she was kind of commanding the room more than this not Leonidas guy here. Like <laughs> just. <laughs> Do you, Do you fight that? Lesson I Do you fight that? God, I hate that. No, no. Oh, I hate that. No, the line. <laughs> no, no, no. The line in the movie. Do you fight better than you fuck? Man. Right? <laughs> right? Anyways. Lena, I'm like, Lena, Lena, that's it. I'm done. You already too good for this movie. Stop doing shit. Hey, hey, hey she was collected. I'm, I'm, I'm mad it wasn't her that said that in the movie. I'm laughing that she really rolled into that movie to collect a check like, I'm, I'm back. All right, cool. We'll, we'll, I just we'll, love how she did that, and the next thing I seen is she was giving head to her brother in Game of Thrones. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was awesome. It was linear. It wasn't a linear. It was going upward. <laughs> upward. <laughs> Speaking of which, so <laughs> the, 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 the incest <laughs> incest goes up. Who knew um, incest could be so awesome? <laughs> so what what gets <laughs> the, the tragedy? Because in these movies, there's tragedy that hits the main character. Oh, he's a tragedy. Mike Banning, um, apparently, <laughs> but I say it, he killed the president's wife. And you might be like, how did he kill the president's wife? Well, what happened is apparently three of the president people didn't know to just dive on the fucking trunk of the car so they can counterweight it. No, nah, we got to pull it down. I because like game, how these um, niggas are grabbing the back okay. of this shit. Like, this thing is little. You got hold on, two hold on, dudes hold on. sliding hold off on. the trunk, yeah. No, stop. See, D, first of all, you used a great example with the phone. First of all, here's the edge of the bridge. Here's the car. The limo that much was like was already gone. It was already dipping this much. Four Secret Service agents getting on the trunk was not gonna offset. It, it. could, it could have. No, it could But but on drugs, ice. I know, but on an icy right, ass bridge, and right. these motherfuckers doing sixty. But Mike, let Banning, me get this right: y'all leaving Camp David in a snowstorm and hit a deer going about thirty-five miles an hour. They were about, they were going Hold they were on. going forty until until Mike said, "Hey, hey, ease up five miles per hour less." I like this. I like to believe that they hit a VFX deer because all we Man. saw was the hit. <laughs> that shit was a hey, blip. Hey, 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 guys, hey guys, how did you like? How did you like this scene the right non-rigged before that? Deer. <laughs> the non-rigged deer. The uh, non-rigged uh, deer. Remember when we got non rigged Remember we got non rigged Michael Roker jumping off the home, <laughs> flying sir, off the home. So, guys, guys, it was the non deer deer from Initial D that got tech his victory against the uh, race <laughs> car drivers. Shut up. <laughs> 
Shut up. I swear to folks, there's an Get episode of my with- podcast. <laughs> Shut up. Tech won because a non deer deer made this guy in his Honda hatchback I'm like, oh shit. And Tech just, I'm like, Tech be winning all bullshit. He be winning all bullshit. This nigga ain't got no real skill. He just be winning off <laughs> people reacting off of other shit that has nothing to do with the race. <laughs> one nigga kept looking at leaves. One nigga looked at a deer that wasn't there. <laughs> The other one, the other one just said, "Nigga, I got a skyline. I got his." Like, Wait, how the fuck? <laughs> You're going downhill on the skyline. <laughs> one nigga got skyline. I got his ass, man. This is spoilers for the last race. One guy looked at Tech like, "This nigga actually going to fucking beat me going but riding reverse. Ain't that a bitch?" <laughs> yeah. I still stand on look, Eris. Look, I understand why the sky- Eris. Look. I understand why blue, the sky- and he still won. Engine blue. The engine blue, by the way. My nigga went reverse, and that guy was like. This son of a bitch gonna fucking beat me. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> it, the reverse is only one gear. <laughs> hey y'all, y'all, y'all. Goku, uh, uh Alucard, Tech, <laughs> OP, OP. <sighs> Them the gods right there, bro. This nigga went in reverse. Mount Rushmore of he went errors. He went re- no errors. He went ver- reverse in a Corolla and one. Yeah, the guy, the guy he raced. He went reverse the guy in looked, a night in an eighties Corolla. The guy he raced literally looked at him like this nigga will fucking beat me in reverse. Ain't that a bitch? Oh man, how does this Japanese Max for staff and fucking wash all of this in a regular ass car? Eris, look, cart racing engine, dude. To be fair, Mm-mm. Group A, Eris, Eris. Group A engine. Group a it's a group A engine. Yes, it's, that, respect respect it because it is a girl. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a mean one. But that being said, Eris, I know how he won that race. If you would have hit the gas four times going downhill in a skyline, you should. Anyways, uh, Mike Mike cuts the president. Hey, Eris, Eris. But, <laughs> but 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 hey hey hey, I gotta be real. Mike cuts the president out. His wife fucking goes down and crashes. I gotta be real. If I was Mike, I'm looking at the president like, "Hey, dog, game game is the game." I mean, I don't know. You, could've... hey, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you hell shout out to the work. movie for having restraint because when that car flipped, it hit the ground. Boom! Yeah, I see, any other a, movie, I would have had the flame be a score. No, <laughs> and CD, and you pointed this out uh, before we started this podcast. You know the lack of explosion. I'm like, first of all. I'm mad that they actually died from that because the drop didn't even seem like it but here's was the that thing, high. But see, here's the thing, sir. It would have been perfect because you got to bear in mind, too, it's winter. They actually drowned because remember, it hit that fucking ice water and then it cracked and you didn't see it, but you saw the fucking river crack. So they, it, they had to drown. Minute. They had to drown. Hold on, hold on. They no, had no, to no. drown. But still, but still, but still, still, but still, Chris. Uh-uh, uh-uh. D, Chris, D, D has a problem with that. Wait, 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 no, hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Chris, the car goes over. The bridge is not that high. This is the same bridge from the beginning of Batman Returns. This is the same bridge from Beetlejuice. It's not that high. This is the uh, same bridge that was on, on Robin Hood Men in Tights. Sir, Stand up, nigga. Sir, sir <laughs> the, I, the, the ice at the bottom has plus 50 on hey, block. Chris, first off, Chris. And the car apparently off, the ice is minus 50 on durability. Thank you. Plus 50 on block. <laughs> Hey, also, hey, I just got also, advantage. I just got advantage. Buddy. Also, we don't know this. We didn't know this, but when the car went up, Ashley Joe, like, I got my seatbelt off. <laughs> I think I see a parachute. I think I see a parachute. <laughs> She's okay. Hey, you know what? Look, I just said she took off her seatbelt as it fell over. They get in there. What's going on with the first lady? Hamburger meat, sir. Actually, actually, I'm jumping ahead. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine this? And, I, and they would have probably kicked me out the writer's room for this shit. All right, guys, imagine. End of the movie. We think Rick Yoon is the bad guy. All of a sudden, we see a bloodied up Ashley Judd. It was me, husband. 
<laughs> you, you didn't try to say no, you didn't say care about the demilitarized zone outside of Korea. They would have kicked me out the writer's room and just gave me my fucking severance pay and told me to get the fuck out of here. If they would have got look, they would have got rid of me. Well, I say they would have got rid of me when the Koreans came flying in there. I like this is what you do. So they come in. Well, first of all, hell to the chief. Woo, red, red, and blue. That's what I would have did. First off, I would have did that. First off, D. That would have been all the movie's budget if they did get that no, song. No. <laughs> um, Getting that created song would have been worth it. Hold them. It would have been worth it. It ain't me. Oh, no. Second off. Second off. What was the end game to the Koreans just shooting up randos? That was I want to know what the end game of this. All right. So let's get this. Straight. They well, before, hold on, before we get to that, they. <laughs> I got to throw in my idea. See, they would have definitely kicked me out of the room for being extremely <laughs> cliche because my cliche idea would have been this. When everything looked like shit was really about to be the end for this movie. Uh, we just see her coming in with an eye patch and like two freaking M16s and just mowing down all North of the Koreans. remaining terrorists. <laughs> yeah, all the like all the remaining North Koreans, they would all get murdered. She's got uh she's got like this crazy ass ponytail, she's in like full uh like full fatigues and everything. And you wanna know, hold on, D, and you wanna know how where the hell did she get this training? <laughs> this they uh, hey, blame the 18 months. Say- Blame the 18 months that passed after this trash. I, I, actually, actually, we're jumping ahead to the third movie. Also, Nick, Nick Nolte trained her. Nick Nolte trained No, no, Ayers. no. Ayers, yeah. when she shows up, when she shows up, he, he was like, you know, Gerard, but like, all right, we got to go this, this, but we don't got enough bullets. Don't worry, we got enough. Unlimited ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited ammo. <laughs> And turn into fucking turn into fucking <laughs> turn into Chuck Norris and fucking Expendables 2 where he just had the double barrels and just no, actually, no, see, see, that's funny having her have the freaking bandana for infinite like for infinite ammo. No, no, again, I'm being I'm being ridiculous now with my uh like like while I'll be a cliche. The affinity face paint. Man, I'm just saying, man, that's the best way to go you, for you, it. You know what got me though? So <clears throat> You know, uh, 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 why did I say Greg? Um, Mike. <laughs> Mike ends up. Uh, they, J- <laughs> Jason and Kevin. <laughs> so Mike in predictable Man, fashion. Man, there's a Tony there. There's a Randall. <laughs> he ends up, he ends up, uh, you know, stepping down from the secret service because the president clearly doesn't look at, look at the guy that he blames for his wife's death, basically, you know. And, and he's you know, working. he lost a smile, man. He lost yeah, you a know. smile. Bro. Well, I mean, when you know you go from Secret Service to working for the working a desk at the Treasury Department, and your girlfriend is like looking at you like, so you just working a desk job, you ain't a real man. So I well, wish well, she would hit me with some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> Oh, you used to used to be something when you was killing. You, you, were, you was killing indiscriminately could, for the Uncle Sam. You was a man. I could hear. No, now no, you no. working the desk. I, you know, I could hear. No, I could actually hear her saying this. One first lady gets off, and everybody tripping. I like how Cole. I like how Cole Hauser. Hey, white his, bitches day die every day, B. Hey, be hey, be right. hey, look, Cole Hauser. When they were talking this at a cafe, kind of had that same energy. D, when he was like. I mean, dog, you didn't have to go to the treasury department. You could have been hanging up with us, man. You know, I'm just saying. You know, hey Cole, hey Cole, hey Cole, you actually pretty good in it, and you're actually pretty good in um, what's the face of uh, God, uh, uh, Yellowstone. He's actually really good in that show. Good for him. I'm glad that. Cole Hauser actually got some solid work. He's actually not that bad of an actor. <clears throat> you're dying in this. You need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you shut up. I just like shut point, up. I like to point mind out your that. business. <clears throat> I like to point out too, real quick, about Yellowstone D. I find it funny that people are shocked that Yellowstone is a highly rated show. And I kept telling my folks, I'm like, because you guys are so focused on streaming, you're not understanding on network television. Yellowstone is cleaning up. It's, 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 it's eating oh, on streaming, it's too. Making, oh, it's making it's money. It's eating on streaming, too, on both sides. I love saying this. Kevin Costner found a banger. And the dude that's running, I forgot the guy that actually runs the whole junk. Uh, Taylor, Sheridan, Sheridan. This man found 1887 was a boy. I love that. The, 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 uh, Ares, 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 that was the fact that too. they managed to find out they managed to peel off <laughs> spinoffs off this shit is shocking no, as hell. I'm no, like, no. Bruh. and seeing look, y'all dog 18 uh 1880 uh 1880, whatever it's called, whatever I, I forgot. Yeah, 1886. I think that's yeah. the name of it. whatever. But motherfucking uh Sam Elliott had me actually crying. 
I didn't think that Sam Elliott was that great of an actor. Sam Elliott being depressed is like, this is this is That's good. This is, <laughs> this is real good. He killed himself at the end. I was like, fuck, man. I knew he was going. Me and my wife were like this. D, he was going to do it. He was going D, to do it. D, first <laughs> of all. D, first of all, let's get something straight here. Let's get something straight. It wasn't Sam Elliott that made you uh that made you, that made you sad. It was, it was Sam Elliott's mustache. Okay. Okay, D. I was I was wrong. It's 1883. <clears throat> It's the second, show, the second show is 1923, which follows yeah, I heard about that. in the Great Depression. And then they got 66666, which is in the present day with a different ranch. Dear God, that's insane. Speaking of insane, um, anyway. uh, what is the end game? No, no, because ask, now it's like, I have to investigate this now. But <laughs> now, now, people don't realize this. Um, North Koreans were used for a lot of movies during this time period because, you know, mm-hmm. everybody hates North Koreans. Um, and, and they, they were the new they, big they, bad. They were the big bad at the time because a lot of people, especially during the early, the late 2000s and the early on two, uh, 2010s, White people were scared the Koreans were coming for us. They shelved um they shelved uh the um Chris Hemsworth his his debut in films was supposed to be the Red Dawn remake. And they shelved it because the United States at the time was kind of in conflict with North Korea and they would have been in bad taste to release that movie and shit. So, you know, we saw him in Star Trek and that's when people saw him and stuff. But <laughs> when you go back and look at Red Dawn, it's like Ooh, because Red Dawn, I believe, came out the same year this movie came out too. So that's like this and that. And yeah. it's like the way they do the North Koreans, it's like, wow. Yeah, wow. they make like I said, they made the North Koreans a new big bad. And if this is where this scoots right in to United States propaganda. Oh, what's the face? Top gun ain't propaganda. Olympus is down. Oh yeah. United States good, North Korea bad. <laughs> Boy. Now, Rick Yoon Rick plays a, uh, a, a, a a terrorist leader whose <clears throat> dad got killed, got killed by the South Korean army, mm-hmm. and his mom stepped on a landmine. God damn, stepped on a fucking landmine, American landmine. So now he got grievance with the Americans. Now I'm like, she stepped uh, on a landmine, dog. Guess the game. Sorry. Uh, like, no, no, no. See, but Chris, you gotta understand that the landmine was. American made and made in science. America. <laughs> made in America. That was all. Oh, they, they that was all that took. They should have did a flashback where she steps on it, and all of a sudden you cut to like a piece of the landmine that says "Made in America." <laughs> made in USA. I'm but sorry, no, when he said on. that, when he said that, all I thought was Jackie Chan. Like I know about Simtex. <sighs> you know about Simtex. <laughs> you and I, we come from the same place. <laughs> you are not alike. <laughs> I have. Uh, I, yes, I did the full getting hit. I have to. I gotta, point it. I gotta point out. I gotta point out. So, no. so something something that we need to understand, you guys, is <sighs> Officer O'Connor sucks at checking pulses because apparently Clearly. Johnny Tran uh, did survive that gunshot, left L.A., left his family, and set himself set up shop in North Korea. Time out. Shut time up, out. Harris. Time out. Time out. He got stabbed Shut in the up. fucking head. There ain't no way he survived that shit. No, 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 no. I said, Chris, Chris. <laughs> oh, oh, you did reverse. My bad. I'm about to say. I was like, you didn't go to I Fast said, and Furious. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm saying he went from that and set up shop in North Korea. Changed his identity. That feels like a and step down because North Korea isn't necessarily technologically advanced. Yeah, either. they ain't got hot dogs in that country. I don't know why. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> No, see, fuck all that. Both this is where both of you are wrong. Both of y'all are wrong. It's like you reverse say, Wakanda in North Korea. What are we step, talking about? Lying, no, see, but you say step down. First of all, this man command this man led an entire army that took out the White House. Yeah, they you went guerrilla warfare. They went very guerrilla I mean, warfare. All right, look, look, look. I look at in look. 13 minutes. Yeah. You took that, out America's look. best in 13 minutes. I'm sorry. That's when D just started laughing uncontrollably. They had because fucking like, machine guns on the side of the fucking B-52, and I was like, that's bullshit. There's bro, no way. Guns you on the you side mean of to B-52. tell me a B-52 machine, made no. it into DC no, no, no. airspace? No, f- no. How about this, guys? How about th- how about this for some inventive shit? They put freaking 50 cal uh 50 cal minigunners inside of dump trucks. 
Here's my thing. Maverick would have went upside down on that B-52 and shut it down and would have shut this whole thing down in the, in the movie right Yeah, there. Just speaking yeah. of which, what's going on on the ground, D, when they shooting down? Niggas doing this. What are you hitting? <laughs> First off, can I What ask, are you thing? hitting? Here's what I don't get. They're literally murking fucking Tyrone going out for lunch on his lunch break at the State Department <laughs> for no fucking reason. I'm like, you imagine you eating a burger downtown and all of a sudden a fucking B-52 just, you eat a fucking bullet from a fucking B-52? Like, damn. I knew there was salt on this burger. <laughs> and the fucking Secret Service is just shooting up in the sky like they really gonna do damage to a B-52. Get the hell out of my face with this shit. Get out of my face. It's a B-52, dog. <laughs> so you ain't touching the... What, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Like, it's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous, man. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah, D, you're like... I know, I got, I'm sorry. They lit... I was seeing all this. And also, by the way, what's up with that backyard in the White House? Like, or whatever. That look, should be... Because um, isn't the backyard supposed to... No, Pennsylvania Avenue is in the front part of it. So the yeah, back should be... Even, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you see, it is looks. Did like they get this off of? Did they go off of Microsoft Flight Simulator for this shit? It I feel like it, yeah. Oh yeah. Better question. Hey, um, guy that always gets sniper, sniper always get the sniper in uh in in the, in any game. Why are you shooting at the plane? Are Trying you actually strike. hitting the? Pe- what are you doing? What are you? Sh- I like how there's gunfire coming, and he still has a gun. Aimed at the damn ship like he's doing something. Hey, I like how Gerard Butler was daydreaming, and then all of a sudden he goes straight into fucking John McClane mode immediately. Immediately. Hey, oh, it's action time. White man. tank top turning brown by the end of the movie. Oh, still has a secret server clearance. And I call bullshit on that because as soon as you get out from the secret service, you don't have no. You're done. Clearance. You're out of it. How is this nigga not only no no? See, look, I understood when he went into the White House, he hit that little code, he knows that little secret patch. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Cool. The second you get on the computer going thumbprint, I'm in. I'm like, the second you do that, it's like, no, no. And then he had the fingerprint. He put his fingerprint down there. I'm like, no. So you weren't months. never. Wait, months. wait, Chris. 18 months. He was never taking out the system. 18 months. That's security. Somebody needs right to get there. fired. Security Somebody violation. needs to get fired. <laughs> First of all, look, he stepped look. down. He stepped down. He stepped down from from uh from the detail for all we know he probably still held his clearance all right look even then Harris, you wouldn't I get have the clearance access, i get the clearance fine with the clearance but you wouldn't have access though. if you type in anything down any code in the white house down the way he was doing that is a security problem oh you're right that is a problem you're of right. national security you're why right. is that, that non-activated was... agent have anything to do with this <laughs> D, D, you are 100% correct. You are 100% correct if that happened in real life. But considering that this is a movie with the most unbelievable shit to take place in a span and of two hours. And the most believable flag that I have on. ever seen in my life. Hold on, D. It, like, the most unbelievable bullshit to take place in the span of two hours. I'm willing to I'm willing to look the other way. Guys, guys, I am too, dog. Did you guys, did you guys, did you guys love how the fact that in the first scene that we see Dylan Dylan McDermott, I was like, "Oh, you're the villain." Oh, the second I saw Dylan McDermott, I was like, "And no, I liked how he was like, it's like how much did it take to sell you out?" <laughs> I don't like you. I was like, "All right, you know what, Dylan? No, there Dylan. was a reason why." See, Dylan, the thing. There was a Dylan, reason why you're not even you. trying with this. But you know what's funny though? As much as I said Dylan McDermott, in the back of my mind, I was thinking Cole Hauser was going to be the one to heel turn. Pretty much just because we've seen Cole Hauser do it before, kind of thing. So it's like, well, maybe Cole Hauser. Oh, it's Dylan McDermott. Cool. And again, okay. his rhyme and reason was on some like, yeah, you think the North Koreans have beef? You sold us out, Mr. President. I'm like, all right, guy, I get that you hate the imperialism of the president, but they ain't worth fucking working for North Korea, my dude. Like, and then, the, uh, like, like what? <laughs> all right, look, and this is where it gets into the weird. Clearly not thinking they, big picture here. He really like, did. This is. This is where I like to ask um, screenwriters, especially during that time. You do realize North Korea is not as nearly as threatening as y'all make it look to be, right? You do realize these niggas are still trying to get a rocket to properly get into Japanese airspace. Again, and you mean to tell me again, they're inverse that they looking. got the wherewithal. Do you know that half the, do you know that most of the country is malnourished? 
Again, they're inverse what These niggas ain't gonna do nothing. They're inverse. They're inverse. They're gonna be too Wakanda. hungry. They have no technology yet. None. Yet. Yet. You try to steal their flag, they'll throw your ass in the gulag, though. So let me get this shit straight. <laughs> let me get this shit straight. You mean to tell me 25 North Koreans who somehow harbor themselves in the United 30, States? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. They get thrown in the gulags only to be executed by their stormtrooper soldiers. <laughs> let me get this shit straight. So there was 30 of these niggas. They harbored themselves. United States, you know what? Let's be fair. They probably came down from Canada. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever it may be, they were in our atmosphere. You mean to tell <laughs> I thought you were going to say North Korea was the Mississippi of the world. I thought that's what it said. I read Messed all of up, that wrong. Knowledge. <laughs> <clears throat> These guys took out the Secret Service. Double tap, by Thank the way. You. Kudos to them for that. Yes. So you Full take out tap. Secret Service members. You know Secret Service members are ex-Marines, ex-Rangers? Apparently they ain't shit in this movie because Cole House no, super cops. No. Yes, yes. And let's look. No, 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 shout no, out pro- to the shout out to the that, guys on the Secret Service who came up through police force. Those super cops, good for them. But yeah, listen, listen all on. those guys. Listen, all those guys in this movie, they were all two days to retirement. Man, dog. Because dog. Brother, did you see how all of them <laughs> ran to the door? Did you see how all of them ran to the door thinking that they were going to do something only to get gunned down? Gerard Butler had one dude that he covered. And he's like, come on, man. And the dude made the mistake of turning his back and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. My dude, duck and ninja run. Do something. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, you don't. You don't upright full sprint. The best no, part, don't work. best part for work D, you got bullets flying. Hey, the best part for D, Cole Hauser. Olympus is falling. Olympus is falling. Here's me. Here's me. Oh, so that's why they call it that. <laughs> As he takes out the one guy, and the other guy was like, "Oh, I'm like, well, yo, hey, Cole, Cole without like the cold word for White House is Olympus. That's hey, yo." Cole Hauser went out just went out like your boy Mel Eris. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> Oh man. Like hey, I said, I ain't gonna lie. I'm happy for Cole Hauser. I, I ain't gonna happy lie. For that dude. Rick Yoon and his boys fucking pulling a fast one on a secret service in the bunker. I approve of that. They got Yo, him good Rick, on that. No, one. Here's the problem, though. Here's the problem. Here's the problem, director. Yeah, hey, 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 he tricked him with the glasses. See, he, he did. Glasses he off. did. Evil. Evil. You know, like, hey, look, let me get this straight. Hey, um, actually, glasses guys, off. hey, Chris, glasses hey, off. Chris. Evil. Do you know what the Americans did to my mother? <laughs> <laughs> That's shit. Hey, Eric, hey, Chris, that being said, I just realized something. Let's yell at the director real quick. Uh, Mr. Fuqua. It's always you know, great when a black man is running behind the, the camera. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, yo, Tone, come here real quick. Nigga, what the fuck are you making? <laughs> Do you see this plot structure, my nigga? D- did you tell anybody to slow? Oh, we didn't pay you. How D, much they paying stop. you? Stop. No, D, Shit. stop, stop, stop. All right, cool, nigga. You stop. got it. <laughs> stop, D. First of all, see, you're going at this all wrong. You can't even yell at him. You want to know why? Why? He ran the script by Denzel and Denzel co-signed it. Are you serious? Wait, wait, wait. I would, wait, what? No, I would like to believe that happened, but yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Wait, that. Don't do that. Like I was about to say, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I have a feeling. What's you, know, you, know, you know what's fucked up? I know I made that sound I very a, convincing. No, no. I have a theory. I have a theory on this one. I have a theory that he went to Denzel and was like, so um, I want you to be president in this movie. You know, Olympus has fallen. Denzel <laughs> took one look at that script and was like, "Nah, I'm good. Nah." He just looked at it like, "No, you no, this. he he." No. Morgan yet? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> He's like, "You talking Morgan?" <laughs> talking Morgan talking that? Before <laughs> no, before he before he asked that before he asked that question, <laughs> he hit the Alonzo Harris laugh and then said, "So, uh, my nigga, you talking to Morgan about this?" I know, right? <laughs> what you doing? I got something better. It's not this, <laughs> but 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 hey, I'm no, 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 actually, Chris, 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 because we because black people, black upper crust niggas know about this. I got something bigger. What the fuck you got? You know, I was doing fences, right? They're not about to make that a movie, they're talking about it. 
And I got yeah. something else. I told her. Hold on. Hold on. Viola hold said she hold up. Viola hold said up. yes. Hold no, up. she did not, nigga. Yes, she did. And hold, <laughs> and hold up. Hold up. I got something else that's going to equalize that movie. <laughs> Man, you ain't getting another one, nigga. So they came up to you and asked, <laughs> you know how black people actually so they came up to you and asked you again. <laughs> here's the sick part. Same year that here's the sick part. Denzel couldn't even do this anyway because he did two movies. What he was doing at that time anyway? He did Safe House and he did Flight. And then mm. 2013, Flight, the yeah. year that this movie Olympus is Falling came out, he did two guns with Mark Wahlberg. Two guns was a better option, personally, to me, for my yeah. for my money. I like two guns. <clears throat> I don't like yeah. Mark Wahlberg though. We've been through this. You're not supposed to. We've been through this when we did fear when we was when we did fear this past summer, which by the way, listen to that. We already went through this. He's weird. I have a weird relationship with Mark Wahlberg. Like I don't like him, but I, I think I, I, also, but I think also what's interesting with Fuqua with this movie is that I'm not saying Fuqua can't do big action, but I think his wheelhouse is is action that's Subdued because you think of the smaller replacement scale action, yeah, yeah. We think replacement killers that's a dope movie to me because that's in that line with, it's, it's in line with the small scale like type stuff. And I think I also is think, his only big like action film that he's done. And this is not the well, no, that can't be the first big one he did because he did uh, no, in terms of movie? like big action spectacle, type, oh, spectacle, you know? no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Domino wasn't an action, I mean, technically, really. King Arthur, he did King Arthur. Uh, See, this is what I'm talking about. But actually, no, that goes into what you said because King Arthur wasn't that great. It really wasn't that great. Yeah, that was a weird from a direction standpoint. What it really wasn't that awesome to me, man. But I don't know. I mean, yeah, Matt, he yeah, he the fucking cast of white people, Joe Egerton and Matt Mickelson and fucking Clive <laughs> Owen and shit. I was like, damn. Right, man, like, look, he was trying to get something, man. He was trying to get he was trying to do some shit, man. But he know, did he did come back with infinite though, but that's like Paramount Plus shit. But still, it's like uh with when it comes to Fuqua, I think he's all right. He's just uh, I wouldn't say he's like, he like oh he's okay, he's all right, man. Yeah, yeah, you he, know, especially true. after the like, it's like let's just be real. When you do training day, everything is gonna be second rate to what you do, you know what I mean? But, but so, also but also he did a movie that me and me, me and Eris love. He helped uh produce uh bullet train, so you know he's yes. good in my book. Yep. He's good at <clears throat> I love him. He's solid. <laughs> He's like, he can do it wrong. It's like, oh, you you, you help produce a bullet train? Thank you. Okay, USA. Okay, USA. <laughs> Stamp of approval. So wait a minute. Fuqua did that? Yeah, he helped produce a bullet train. Produce. I'll produce. I don't yeah, yeah, he'll produce and stuff. But um, so our boy manages to find a bulletproof vest, rolls them sleeves up. Got himself an MP5 and he's ready to fucking kick ass and take names. You be Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Hold on. He has he has a Bluetooth earpiece. D, y'all remember he has a Bluetooth earpiece that he's talking. That's a satellite phone. And he gets a contact. I like how uh shout out to, uh, to, to, to to Angela Bassett with that wig. Shout out to her with that. <laughs> that was a wig. I didn't know that. Didn't know. <laughs> that probably wasn't a wig, but to me, the way it was like shaped on the head, like Angela. How your real hair look like, girl? <laughs> now, now, you ever look at a you ever look at a woman's hair like? I bet all of that's like stuffed underneath that shit, isn't it? Yeah. Why you do that? That's what they wanted. Okay. <laughs> now, the big thing is that uh, 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 Kang Kang Yunsak, who is the Korean ultranationalist, that's a terrorist. Yeah. Uh, hey, he's <laughs> he's trying to get in contact with the uh, code. Was it the uh, the weapon Cerebus? Which is it? This feels very low budget Metal Gear. When as soon as he says this Cerebus, is, yeah, yeah. When he, when you when you are, yeah, it's it's a three it's a three password um code to launch to control every <clears throat> nu Cerberus. nuclear device in America. The Cerberus Cerberus, Cerberus passcode. Yeah, yeah. Cerberus. And given the three, three. people, like given the three Cerberus. people, six, given six, the, six. like given the three people, the uh, the president, secretary, and uh, who's the other one? The it was the president, the secretary. No, the, the the president, the secretary, and um, who was it, dude? Uh, I thought it was the commander of the military or some shit. Yeah, I was gonna say the commander. I was, I was getting, I was getting ready to say Deputy Richard. Director. I was getting ready to say uh, Richard Clark's position. Speaking <laughs> of which, um. I have never seen. Look, I I love when villains do villain shit. This man 
Rick Yoon beat the shit out of Melissa Leo. Like, didn't give a fuck. Just straight kicked to the fucking rib multiple times. Just beat I the loved shit it. out of him. I'm like, Whoa. I loved it. He's like, I'm like, I'm never talk. Cole, bop, bop, bop. <laughs> it's what got me. I love Melissa Leo because her act is so great. She's all like, what is that? The only thing that was missing was her, you hit like my mother. I was waiting for it, but she didn't. Yo, say that. this she bitch later on was like getting dragged champ. out. We were just getting dragged out. No, uh, you, no, no, no. That uh, part right there. This part, this, this part the like, I was going to say that part right there where she was getting dragged out saying, oh, like, give her the Pledge of Allegiance. I was like, yo, she really trying to go out like a full G. She, hey, yo. she said herself. The only thing that I do not want out of this shitty day is for my God. is for my tombstone to say that I went out God. without taking a like without a fight. Thing, the only thing missing Yo. is Melissa, Melissa Leo getting up and say, I didn't hear no bell. That was the only thing that was missing. <laughs> when she got up, it was like this. Like, he like, was like this. We told you to move. America moves for no one. If they had put yo yo no, 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 yo, no, what I, I would say this, what I like, what, what I would, hey, D, D, what I Hold wish on. is the. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I said let the, the air, what did you got to say? I was what I wish was the moment they let her hands free, she <laughs> turned around, put them up, and said, "I could do this all day, man." It's <laughs> a tough old lady right there. Yo, yo. Somewhere, Lauren Bobert was watching that, rubbing the living shit out of her clit. I want to be like that. <laughs> America! No, in real life, the second a white dude's coming in, you be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Again, I hate all of those. I hate all of those congresswomen. I'm a tough congresswoman. I believe in guns. I'm like, shut up. All right. Shut up. Shut hey, up. hey, hey, Melissa Leo got more balls than you, lady. And that's a fictional character. Yeah, yeah. In real talk, in real talk. That was a fictional character. In real ready, talk, I know this is ready to die. I know this is messed up saying what happened to her husband, but I got Nancy Pelosi doing all of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Pelosi showed up next day on the door, bust a head, missing teeth. <laughs> so, you know, if this was a Republican, he wouldn't do all this shit. <laughs> like I said, yeah, straight up. <laughs> I gotta be real with you, man. Uh, uh, Eric, Eric, Eric. Now it's time for me to really take, take the piss out of uh, Nancy Pelosi. I'm still fuck over America. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care now. Concussion actually made everything clear. I'll fuck all of y'all. I gotta admit, the most I want to make all your children gay. How about that, nigga? <laughs> Give me some kente cloth. I want to deal right now. This is for Ruth. Me, me and Chuck. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi on top of the White House with a with a pump action shotgun. Hold on, connecting. Can, 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 can take cloth, can take cloth bandolier with the koofy hat. Chuck Done. Schumer coming, look, Chuck Schumer coming right on ATV. Come on, <laughs> get on. Like I said, this is for Ruth. That being said, Sorry, I was though. telling myself this whole time. All right, D. All right, D. Uh, the presidents that you know, what? How will any of this go? Bill Clinton would have been like, whoa, 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 whoa. When we investigating them? Didn't I tell you to kill them? <laughs> Why oh, did you? Hell, like I told you if, to do that three years ago. There's a, if there's this was dwarf the whole time, like what the fuck, man? <laughs> if this was George Senior. <laughs> hey fellas, why are you here? I paid you off. Why are you here? If you this lied. look, hold on, hold on. If this Reagan? was Reagan, if this was Reagan. <laughs> Kill all of them right now. No, you ruined our country. All I heard was America was right. <laughs> America was Obama. Right. Oh, Obama. Trump? Obama. No, 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 no. Obama would be like this. Uh huh. Yeah, I understand w what you're going through. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, look behind you right now. Yeah, that's a whole lot of guns behind you, son. Now, I, I, you give now, up? Um... <laughs> Actually, now, be, uh, son, there is a take two steps to the left, two steps back. Perfect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um there is the a way. Button. There, there now, listen, there is a way that you can still get out of this <laughs> with your life intact. Man, <laughs> just see Yo, laser point, laser sight. I just need you to, I, I just need you to uh, put the guns down. 
Now, now, Eris, this is going to be your favorite. George, Mr. Bush, um, it seems that the North Koreans have attacked America. Dick, what do we do? Nuke Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, call the ambulance. Heart attack right now. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, nuke Africa. Bear, bear Hello? in mind. Hello? Look, hold on. Young Ping? All right, man, now check this out. I need you to get out of the country right now. Yeah, I got them going to Africa. Y'all can, look, go up to, look, this is what you do. Go to, look, look, shut, shut the fuck up. All right, look, look, all I need you to do, just get to Syracuse. If you get lost, push the on star. All right? You just, all right. <laughs> why I got a, why I got a feeling, D? Why I got a feeling that Dick Cheney keeps, keeps a copy of the president's code written on a napkin. Boy. Man. No, knowing Dick Cheney, he got that joke tattooed on the inside of his face. <laughs> like I knew this thing the was invisible. Coming. No, Six, the invisible. Seven, five, eight, nine. The, the invisible tattoo. Those yes. invisible ones you get. The black has, light tattoo. He, he has a black light on his pin. <laughs> oh God! He like this. But did we lost the codes off? Yes, we did. I need you to call Doreen. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the last one, y'all. No, the last two. The last two. Okay, what would Trump really do? First off. I let him in. Like, like, I let, I let, like, like, you don't have no Korean friends? Well, I guess you're racist, but I'm not racist. You know, the Democrats, the Democrats were racist. The Democrats are racist, right? especially Crooked no, Hillary. D. Oh, she was crooked. No, D, you did it wrong. You did it wrong. First of all, he would never even say the Democrats. He would just say, the left is racist. The left is racist. You know, the woke, the woking, <laughs> the woking of it all. You gotta trust me, because you guys are doing an amazing job. Now, now the Bowser final one. I fucking pop by fucking damn Rick Yoon and shit in the head, and I'm like, God damn, really? Yo, <laughs> now the best part, now the best part, the last one, y'all. What would Joe Biden be doing? Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden, what are you doing? I'm putting on the gloves, Charlie. It's time to teach these Koreans how we get down. I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> no! <laughs> set it off deep, set it off deep. He opens up the fucking damn weapons closet. He just takes out the Captain America shield. That's how to get to work. <laughs> no, no. He, no, because he just happened to be watching the movie at the time, Chris, he'll say it. All right, let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. I got the best one. I got the best one. Joe Biden, look, all the Koreans are right there. Ah, Joe Biden, what do you want to do now? Joe Biden walks out there, grab his shirt, rips it off. <laughs> he got a tattoo. Scrant, look, the Scranton says, <laughs> straight out of Scranton. Oh, on his back. Hold on, Eric and Chris. Chris. <laughs> I think he's just going to heat mode. Look, while he fight niggas is a cutscene. <laughs> He's got a tattoo of like, bro. He's got, <laughs> bro. He's got a Minecraft tattoo on his arm. <laughs> gotta admit, gotta admit, I'll watch that movie with old ass Joe Biden looking ripped this shit. Joe like Biden, <laughs> Joe <laughs> Biden, go on your, go on Yakuza Seven on a whole bunch of. Can you imagine, Rick, can, you can you imagine? Can you imagine it? Does, it cuts to Rick you running towards him and Biden running, and they jump in the air, and it cuts to the fucking dynamic fucking intro and shit. All the time, shh, shh, make it Biden, even better. <laughs> no, th- make it even better. He has a like, make it even better. Biden has a buddy that we don't see until like at the last minute. He's saved by by Mister Rogers. Man, <laughs> <sighs> looks like you're here. Oh, son of a bitch, you made that was it. Always- that was always my favorite. That was always my favorite. Uh, my favorite meme about Mr. Rogers was he always wore those sweaters because he was a former Marine. Look, man, looks like it's time for us to take out a lot of people who. <laughs> no, he literally. No, he legit <laughs> saves them by. He legit saves them by yeeting a shoe. Hey, hey, <laughs> yeeting a shoe. Oh, no, these um, casual Adidas are here. Oh, yeah, bro, all, all, all them, all them fight lessons that uh, the Mr. <laughs> Mr. President was getting from Mike didn't save him when he tried he to do a go, goddamn he thing. He tried to go it? commando on Rick Yoon, and Rick Yoon was like, "Nigga, what kind of punch I'm is just that?" Saying, look, look, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm just he gonna be even, honest. He didn't you. make it to the CQC portion, man. Nigga, if that was a look, nigga, if that was Obama, he would have did a bat body drop to that nigga. That's about all Obama can do. That's that's about it. Don't I, I'm not saying nope. he's a specialist. Nope. I'm just I mean this was, this, was, this was the beginning <laughs> of his second term. 
Oh God, man! Yeah, you know, you know, Obama you know, would have had them niggas killed by the time they made it to Delaware. I'm just <laughs> saying. Look, <laughs> look, <laughs> look, there, look. The, because the biggest problem I had with this movie was just true. Look, stop dumbing down America. Yeah. Okay. We are the kings of plane up here. Doof. Boom. We're the kings of that crap. So my thing is this. That bomber had a lot of fucking flares for a bomber. I'm like, there's no way it had that many fucking flares. That's you bullshit. see all those flares come out, yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey, D, I agree with you. We are we're the the kings of um of hey. How about a magic trick? We're gonna make this chopper disappear. <laughs> oh, Spe- speaking of which, can we talk about that fucking? Lego fucking Star Wars helicopter scene of them trying to go after the fucking White House and shit and this like this, all right we got a plan we're just gonna zigzag you mean you it, mean the it, Call of Duty advanced warfare man. portion <laughs> Fair, okay I want people to understand. we're gonna serpentine here's, here's the setup Mike is Bo telling cotton Mike is telling Mike Hope is telling them Mike, oh, Mike is, got it <laughs> Mike is literally telling fucking uh uh, uh the speaker of the house and, and director of the secret service like hey hold back let me get some recon like, before do we before we do it robert forrester playing the good old old general of the army is like i've been here before yeah let's i've been do here what we didn't let's do what we didn't desert storm desert storm <laughs> the helicopters it's always look it's always a general reliving the last great war so in this case <laughs> desert storm <laughs> Not no, all right. Come not on, we were kids. It's always look, a general. Nigga, no, it's always we a general kids going always with. Were, oh, it's always a general going with the surefire plan that that's impossible to fail. As, impossible. As a, hey, as, look, as Air Force. Look, it is always this shit. It worked in Korea or some shit like that. It worked in. It worked in Burma. It worked you, in this place. You, you it worked in they, this. Look, it worked in this country that America fucking demolished. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know why they? You don't want to know why they just they idolized Desert Storm because as a former Air Force person, Air Force folks jerked themselves off because it was an air battle at Desert Storm. What even a ground was battle? Was air. air. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> All like, in look, the air. My, that's my problem. America, we are the kings of elbow dropping a country in two and a half days, and you mean to tell oh, me? Oh, tell oh, me oh. we let thirty niggas scoot into D.C. D.D. You seen Black Hawk down? When we're on the ground, we get mollywhopped. All right. Oh yeah. Understand? This is understand something here. We get mollywopped on the ground, bro. This is <laughs> Boy, like going. Look, I, this is like going through Act Two in Modern Warfare on Legendary. Man, shout out, um, <laughs> shout out to the soldiers who are putting, um, who are putting some of the very, very scary shit they had to go through over there in Iraq, and you know, in the two thousands when they went over there and invade Iraq. Shout out to them niggas that there was. Four, there was like 14 people out there. There's only six of y'all. Y'all pinned down, and somehow y'all made it out of it. I mean, killed everybody, didn't kill no civilians. Shout out to y'all. Like, for real. I don't know how y'all do did half of that shit. Me but you mean to tell me 40, you mean to tell me 30-something Koreans and a hot Asian one <laughs> and, a, and a hot and a, uh, 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 all out. Well, well, well. Too hot until Gerard Butler sniped him with a fucking pistol from like a hundred feet. Oh yeah, shit. she was, was like, like with a pistol. I was like, bro, he he shot her through the fucking eye thing. I'm like, that's bullshit. You had a fucking hey, pistol. Hey just- Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris. You know it's a bad day when a nine millimeter <laughs> when a took nine you millimeter. out from a thousand feet. Like when no, a, no, no. It's a bad day when a nine millimeter plays rock paper scissors with a sniper Man. rifle and wins. And it was win. The, oh, it was the most random thing ever because he sees a sniper like 150 feet away. He just says, God, like, look, look, shot look to y'all. That's some shit who... you would only see in Battlefield. That's a, no, that's, a, no, that's Halo One. Oh, gee, that's Halo, Halo shit. <laughs> yeah, but look, if, if if any of y'all ever played a beta where the with the sidearm is way too powerful, that's what they <laughs> welcome to Doom 2016, man. My man, my man, Gerard. I'll never forget Mag. I'll never forget the game Mag. These knives were the best thing in the world. You might as well just stab everybody. There's no point of even shooting. <laughs> Lord, I'm really, really. I mean, look, look, look. Gerard Butler was Mr. 
I'm snapping next because his first order and task is finding the president's son who apparently loves playing high go seek in the White House. So he automatically knew where the, where the little dude was at. Is, I like how your boy the best player. He is the best player. He is the hide and seek champion. All right. 2020, like 2013 hide and seek champion goes to that kid. 2013. All right, 2013 and 2020. Don't fuck with that kid in 2020 because know, he's right? gonna be the shit in fucking uh 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 uh, uh it uh Among Us. Don't fuck with that nigga. <laughs> he the nigga that always want to play Among Us and like no, nah, we don't no nah, nigga, we don't. <laughs> I mean, like that dude. I mean, the thing of it is, I thought it was gonna be some because again, it's been a while since I seen the movie. In the back of my head, I thought the kid was gonna help Gerard Butler throughout the movie. Nah, <laughs> he gets some fucking. Secret. He gets the army like, "Hey, get this kid." No, I am it's not protecting like, this kid. This is not gonna be an escort fucking damn game. No, get this kid out of here. Get him out. You're not gonna be the. You're not gonna be the kid with the laptop from RoboCop Three. We ain't doing this. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, you know because hey, I, I got a question. <laughs> hey, Mike. Don't let my dad die like don't let my dad die like you let my mom die. Yeah, I haven't gotten over that either. <laughs> he just crawled back. <laughs> just pops up out the head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, I ain't see you in like I ain't seen you in this long. All of a sudden, ooh, I got your back. What about my mama's back, nigga? Hey, hey, did you love the uh the <laughs> you know what we found it is? Scrambled <laughs> eggs. That was a break. <laughs> my mama. Did you, did That's you a little the, kid too. That's a little did, kid too. He would have been. Crying. Did Did you love the uh, the trope of the of the president trying to bond with his son real quick? Like, hey, I got three minutes, son. Let's get some ice cream. I'm like, ain't enough time. Ain't enough. Ain't enough time to get a scop of ice cream out the fucking thing before you got to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Chris. Chris, that's not even enough time to make it out the room. Thank you. I got about three minutes. Let's go down and get some ice cream. Hey, so we got three minutes to go downstairs in the White House. <laughs> yo, Chris. I, nigga, I just want to put this out, y'all. I want to no put this out here. I'm like, nigga, you a grown adult. Walk your ass down to the goddamn kitchen. What How in the hell? About? Like, son, you in the White House. This is the most secure place for right now in the whole world. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently, look, look, because apparently, son, we ain't had we ain't had 30 Koreans who had <laughs> 165 days to make this plan. Just walk a thousand this, pounds of this cruise, D4. This, this cruise into DC via Suitland Parkway and just run right up to the top. thousand pounds of Simtex C4 to blow up the gates of the fucking front of the White House and the front door of the White House. Again, also they had vans forget, with mini guns, not just, dragging don't vans, on the ground. Don't forget the trucks. Don't forget the dump trucks, bro. They had freaking oh. Uh, uh, like turret holes cut out of the truck just so they I gotta shoot. be now. Now you're probably saying, Well, they had dump trucks, guys. They want to see them. Hey guys, this is hey, 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 everybody that will live in my city. This is what it would happen. Hey, hey, how you doing, guys? I don't see any blacks and I don't see any Latinos. All right, Ching Chong, come out. License of registration. That's what it would have happened. Oh, they would, the gun guns would have popped in off this in this city. Gate. In this city. If you catch anybody hauling trash and ain't a black person or a nigga named Juan, put a gun to him. Time What's he though. doing? What is Time he doing? Out Time out, though, too. We saw recently, number one, <laughs> trucks driving in D.C. is already an anomaly. So that's a red Ooh, flag right there. Yeah. Look, we can't, look, you can't, you can't even drive a that. truck. You can't even drive a truck on a suit limp on, on, on B.W. Parkway. No. Dog, as a dude. <laughs> As a dude that worked in the truck all through D.C., do you know how many times that we had to do parties around the Capitol building and we had niggas with AKs like, hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Ain't nothing in this truck, right? <laughs> all right, man, stay black. That happened to D. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, my bad. Lord, man. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> There's no way in the world any of this would have went down. There's no way in the world he was would have went down. That being said, though, how did you like when the torts came out and shot down every American helicopter like it was nothing? <laughs> so the uh, thing I, I got a question. I, Lucky uh, Martin, are you making all of our stuff out of paper mache? What's going on? Point out, something I really wanted to point out was these guys were running around with copious amounts of pelican cases filled with rpgs and machine mm -hmm. guns gerard butler happens to combat roll and just shoots one off to take out the fucking missile launcher i'm like oh i like it like i said i like how he has a regular glock 
and he is wasting niggas, young. <laughs> well, no, no. Remember, remember, he got in the White House. He finally hey. got a, a assault rifle. So he Wait, took long enough for look, hold on, what? hold up. But you know what this was? <laughs> this shit started out as a damn. This shit started out damn near as a handgun only run. I know it really was. It was a handgun only run at that point. It was like, oh, I'm shit. sorry. I'm sorry. As soon as he made it into the, to the White House, all I heard was do 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 do. Hey, like, hey, 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 if if Fuqua wanted to make a challenge for this movie, it should have been knife only run. A knife only run. No, Chris, this was this was pistol only any percent. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Non-lethal kills. <laughs> Non-lethal kills. Can you imagine he shoots the fucking trank at all the guys? Boy, like, all oh, these, shit. He fell all these Korean this niggas be, got concussions on the ground. Uh, this will be a like this would be a pistol. Like this would be a pistol, no damage, no save run. <laughs> it ends with Rick Ewan having a trank dart in his fucking head and shit. And he's like, uh, Oh man, no, they no, like no. the stabbing he, people no, directly he gets, in the head in this no, movie, no, didn't they? No, no, Rick Yoon gets stabbed with a stun knife. <laughs> hey, real quick, y'all. Um, we didn't mention him at all. Morgan Freeman plays the speaker of the house. And as we all know, if there is no president and there's no vice president, the speaker of the house runs the country. And immediately they drop everything to his lap. And Morgan Freeman said. They're going to fire my black ass the first day I have this job. I can't believe it. They're going to set me up. These motherfuckers <laughs> set my ass up with a whole ass terrorist attack <laughs> and they expect me. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, D. Actually, no, I, what I really think went through his mind was, well, I do believe that this day has really come. <laughs> oh, Couldn't I say that I've seen this coming. But now I, I got to take on the responsibilities of being the president. I am so fucked. I, I just As my it. daddy used to say, <laughs> either get busy living or get busy dying. <laughs> get busy living or get busy dying. I remember the first time I actually got this job. I told no. myself I don't want to serve under this motherfucker. But now, I am the motherfucker. Damn. Who will serve underneath me? I really but it's not my choice right now. Now I have to lead, lead this country. I remember when I came into the office and I met Mike Banning. Nice white guy. Nice white fellow. Clean cut. Didn't bother nobody. <laughs> I'm about like, damn. I'm really he was a He was a I'm Republican really, and I'm I was really, a Democrat. <clears throat> we, we didn't see eye to eye. <laughs> now, damn. Here I am. About to put my entire career in the hands of this one white man. I don't I know really why the country voted for him and not Barack Obama, but apparently they wanted to go back to a white man. I just find it funny that Angela Bassett only took this movie because she's never worked with Morgan Freeman ever. Are you serious? Is that the only reason why she did it? Go ahead, girl. Like, See, you know you a bad bitch. Hey, hey, opportunity knocks, you fucking take it. <laughs> that was definitely an opportunity. That's that's a, like, and here's the thing. That's a here's check mark. It's like, oh, I get to work with Morgan Freeman? Check. I like how <laughs> Angela Bassett went from sixth gear and dropped it to fourth <laughs> gear and yet is getting more movie uh, roles, uh, 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 more uh, TV roles and all Third that. gear, Good sir. Man. You're nice. You said fourth gear. Third gear, sir. Yes, third gear. <laughs> this was, yeah, especially for her she role. She decided in this movie, to do it was third TV. Gear. And when she did, I'm like, she ain't gonna do nothing. She and been she on that, what is acting, it? Acting her ass off on 911. I'm like, God On 911, she been in American Horror Story almost all the season. Angela Bassett, look, see, and, Angela, and, and then got the nerve. And she then can got do the whatever nerve, the fuck she want. And then got the nerve to bump it back up to fucking nine for fucking Wakanda Forever. Like, hey, 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 I need to get this fucking damn award. So, no, 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 we're we're look, no, 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 guys, it's time for us to it's time for us to tell the truth. We got mamas that are your age. Stop this, bitch. Stop it. <laughs> Felicia, Felicia Rashad is like, hey, I hey, wish hey, Felicia hey, Rashad this. looked as good as you. Angela Bassett. Ooh. Courtney B. Hey. Van is like, y'all niggas had it. Y'all I niggas got had it. it. <laughs> Courtney B. Van. Courtney, Courtney B. Vance rides that line of Courtney nigga, but he's super black as fuck. No, see, 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 you said Courtney nigga when he was Johnny Cochran. I think that was him putting his dick on the table. Like, hey, you thought I was Courtney, Man, huh? Courtney B. Vance several times. That's, that's I, my problem. Exactly. See, see, Chris? I agree with you, but 
as a person that literally fan of carried it events, over his shoulder. That's wrong. A man. <laughs> that dude put Courtney, his dick on the table with fucking Johnny Cochran. I was like, when he said nigga, Courtney please. done that several like, times man. in his career. He did it in Law and Order. He did it in Law and Order all the time where he's like, <clears throat> oh, this is an opportunity for me to act. <laughs> I just get, but here's the thing though. It's it's just interesting. It's like the whole time, like you're seeing him systematically take it down, and then when we finally get the big fight between Dylan McDermott and Gerard Butler and stuff, it Boy. feels very underwhelming a little bit, don't it? Hey, look, Chris, Chris, Dylan McDermott versus Gerard Butler. Did you really hear Solid Snake versus <laughs> Gray Fox? Did you get anything out of that? Look, I had hope, really. Right? I had hope. Chris. I had Chris. Hope. All right. Chris, this is Wolverine versus that one nigga in Alpha Flight that's weak as fuck. <laughs> Why are you even trying? Did you guys think nobody about No, no, did you guys play? Did you guys Chris thinking nobody about Alpha Flight? Wolverine versus Wait. a random dude from Friends of Humanity. All right. Now hang on. Did you guys did you guys like uh <laughs> Jesus, Friends of Humanity, Jesus? Did you guys like oh uh, <laughs> did you did you like how he tried to play? Uh, Alan Rickman being, uh, oh, I'm one of the hostages with the American accent and all. <laughs> Mike, no. they got us a gunpoint, man. You gotta save us. I'm like, Bruh. Like, this nigga tried to wait. Chris, hey, 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 Chris, he tried to clay his way. <laughs> all right, real talk, real talk, Chris. I'm coming in there saving everybody. I got, the, I got the tank top thing going on. I see, Chris, you all right? Yeah. And there's not one drop of blood on you. I'm gonna shoot you right in the face. <laughs> It's like, sorry, Chris. Bam. Like, hey. no, like, Do hey, you man. see the carnage that was outside? There's no blood on you. I'm like, hey, man, like, hey, man you're all right. <laughs> he did it. Yeah. He did it. Like, yeah, did the it. Place, like, yeah, this place is just, you know, it's, it's just got me rattled, man. I don't know what to do. Then you go and fuck it up by dro- by name dropping the dude. Hold up. How do you know the dude's name? Fight all scene. Right. <laughs> See now, you just had to be. You just, just had, had to fucking dig, did you? There's <laughs> always some shit like this. Like, shut up. It's like, why? You should have shot him the second you seen him. What was the whole, <laughs> dude? You're here too. What was the whole point of that? Hey, hey you was the whole point of that again? Again, this was White House edition Die Hard. Chris, Chris, Chris hey, Harris. Hey, Chris, if either of you Chris. in that position, just shoot D in the dick. Just no, shoot no, him no, right no, in the Chris, dick. Chris. Oh well, D, you're dumb. That you did that. Hey, hey Chris. First of all. You and I have seen uh, about every season of Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. Norman Reedus would never. No, 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 no. Wouldn't even cool. hold a conversation. No, the moment, he, he, the would have, he would have. He would have. He would have kicked through the damn vents and put a fucking arrow in fucking Rick Bune's head, and that's credits <laughs> right there. No, no, no. I'm talking about having his friend show up. His friend coming to help him. I'm like, nah. Snipe. He rolls up on. He like, rolls up on Bannon. You good? You know who that was? Yeah. You good, <laughs> like, guys? Can we? Can we? Can, uh, I think my we, man we, kills him I think without a second thought. I think we haven't talked enough about how our boy <laughs> Phil Austin looking like fucking Steve Bannon. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's uncanny. It's uncanny yeah, as shit. Yeah, it it, uh, it's kind of he kind of is with the little the, the bottom chin going on. It's the hair. It's the fucking hair. I'm like, that's yeah. Steve Bannon. That's Steve Bannon. Just, it's not as gray, but it's Steve Bannon. Not like, as gray or disease looking, but it's him. <laughs> <laughs> yo, man, yo, Steve Bannon looked like a living herpy. I'm just saying. Right <laughs> <here>. <laughs> There's a little old me herpes. Oh, hi, Dave. Did you, did you love oh, how? Oh, hi, Dave. No, no. Did you no, love no, how? No, that was Kane, <laughs> did you love how Kane tried to pull the rope of dope, and Mike was like, "Hold on." He was on a helicopter. Something don't feel right. That's too easy. No, why, why would he take? The, why you take the president on a helicopter? No, no, that don't make sense. Right. It's like he's still Perfect. in the bunker. Like, he's still in the bunker. He's still in the bunker. Still in the bunker. No, no. He's still in the bunker. No. No, this is bullshit. He ain't going to hell. You know, you know what? Dee's going to say I, this. Like, Dee is going to say this one like, thing. I know, I know what you think about the United States. They would have killed the president <laughs> just <laughs> like, to stop a nuclear launch. Trust God's me. plan, nigga. <laughs> they, like, first of all, they st- like, first of all, you know for a fact they were still in the bunker because the PAL code still haven't activated. The I know. Yet. <laughs> what is it? The PAL code. Now, so the big so thing Mike, was you must take they, the key card and make it cold. Make so the big cold. thing they did was Cerberus went off, but they weren't launching any nukes. What they was going to do was make them all detonate underground. Which, yeah, that's scary. But I'm thinking to myself, 
I think that will actually kind of backfire because aren't all the silos and all the stuff underneath yeah, ain't that kind of very very inside of their silos? Which yeah, that but would kind that of would... the, the, the nuclear fallout wouldn't even happen because it's be protected underneath, underneath the silos, and the silos are 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 well, well are according built well, just in case one of these things happen. That may be. But apparently, these particular nukes uh, <laughs> that are tied to Cerberus these are special nukes. <laughs> these are special surface piercing tactical surface espionage. Piercing. <laughs> surface, surface piercing nukes. Surface, surface piercing, piercing nukes. Ta- no, surface piercing tactical espionage action bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I will give it this much. If anything, me, it will be like a whole lot of earthquakes. Like, damn, what was that? Hey, y'all. For real, don't drink water for a while. Like that's like the only thing. Hey, I think that, hey that corn is fucking glowing mysteriously green there, buddy. Hey y'all, don't don't breathe like too hard. I think that's like the only thing you got to worry about. It's like, why do I grow hey, extra yo. limb? They really wouldn't worry about it because you didn't realize when Fukushima south, southeast would sink. Man. You didn't realize when Fukushima blew up, only like eighteen niggas caught that shit. So I'm just saying. <laughs> The fights, you know. Oh, here's another issue I have with this movie. Was it just me? I had to turn the brightness up on my fucking TV. Oh, it was. I, I tried so shit. bad. I couldn't see nothing, especially during the, the the when the helicopters came in and they got. I couldn't see nothing. I thought okay. it was my TV, Ooh. and I had to turn the brightness up. I couldn't see nothing. This oh, was that God. weird time. Thank God for, thank God for HDR. <laughs> no, this was oh, one of these say. weird times because I was watching on my phone. So of course I'm stuck with whatever I get. <laughs> but I'm still thinking to myself, this is there during that weird time where movies were way darker than they needed to be. Like in the early two, 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 2010s, they were kind of like that. They were just way darker than it needed to be. Like I don't know whether it was because TVs were changing or whatever like that, but they were just darker. I don't know why. Somebody at the beginning of this video game didn't turn the brightness settings up, you know. And shit. You yeah, know. I didn't see the X. Made, you, I saw the X. I didn't see no, the X. No. You make sure, make sure you move the dial over so that the image is barely visible. I hate that little barely visible. Like fuck that. I need to see it. Nah. Uh-uh. I, I need that thing just. There are I, some games you can make it a little bit blurry, but some like nah, nigga. Hey, nah, hey, that. nah, nigga. I, <laughs> hey, I go YOLO. I put that bitch on fucking ninety five. I gotta see everything. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> You sound like you look. See now, you sound like my son when he played. Uh, what's that? When he played uh, uh, Amnesia the first time. Nah, nah. I'm making everything bright so I can see where it's at, son. I don't think that's how the game works. <laughs> you know what? Here's what here's what gets me about this movie, right? How is it that Call of Duty did a better version of what Olympus Has Fallen has done? Because Call of Duty is a video game, and call and on top of that, they've been doing this for years. But just narratively, though, that's the crazy part. Narratively, like that whole sequence of. You know, Russia attacking the Eastern Seaboard was done way better than what. Well, this movie you know what? Uh, usually, when well, you make propaganda you have, like this, you don't kind of care. First you just of all, want to be action filled. First of all, when you have when you have a quarter of Moscow invading <laughs> the Eastern Seaboard as opposed to just a handful of North Koreans, there's a difference. Also, how is it that the video game PG County was more believable than this fucking Washington DC? <laughs> the same, like. You just, <laughs> I mean, you know, yes, yes, it was a bullshit PG County, but fuck it. It, 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 all right, suburbs of PG County, it is cool. I don't know where in PG County this would be at, but you know, hey, cool, got you. I, I feel like, you. it's like all right, believable, yeah, believable, you know, so not not as believable as the final fight, which I felt was a little underwhelming. Very, but the final yeah. fight was it felt very underwhelming. It's not like I was expecting it to be a long drawn out fight, but man. I mean, like pretty much what happened was he shot the president. And Gerard Butler, for some reason, gets down to the bunker undetected and <laughs> takes it takes out everybody except takes out the boy, sub boss, yeah. takes out the sub boss with the quickness, and then fucking fights fucking Kang. I was like, wow, that sub boss had like what this much health? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he. That's when that's when he got stabbed. That's when the president got stabbed in the stomach. And um, he turned into the uh, he turned into Drake and started just rooting for Mike. Like, get him, Mike! You can punch him. It's great. <laughs> shout out, punch him. Shout, shout out to Harvey Dent's butt chin right there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this was the no, scene bear in mind at this, bear in mind at this fight. This see fight, what I'm saying? You see how dark this thing is? <laughs> now hold on. Bear in mind that this fight took place with less than two minutes before wow. Cerberus launches. 
less than two minutes. um, This is, hold on. (laughs) You know, if they wanted to make this movie even more ridiculous, the timer should have been set to the president's heart. (laughs) Here's here's the sick part. Um, I like how he was kicking his ass, and then he catches his nigga off guard. Click, rolls on him, got his arm, and when he put him on the arm, he got him in the arm Arm bar. Your boy just looked like this, like... (laughs) So, well, this is how Tell I'm going me. out. <laughs> also, um, so the new That's model. I, said. I couldn't bring it up because it's a dark ass movie, man. Ugh. So the new Modern Warfare, spoilers, dead ass at the end of the game. It's just like this movie where your character has to get a briefcase and put in codes. Dead ass series in Modern Warfare 2, you have to put in a fucking code to deactivate a nuke. Bear in mind, it's more tension filled in Modern Warfare 2 because you have people looking for your ass. Now, trade secret, if you hide underneath the desk, you can actually avoid all that shit. I found out that out, and I was like, oh shit, this works. They can't find my ass with a big ass briefcase underneath this fucking desk. All right, <laughs> cool. All right, whatever. Video game logic. I'm cool with this. I mean, now, nah, this movie, Gerard Butler apparently has, he can type 60 fucking shits per second and shit. And I'm like, okay. Well, you know, he is the everyman. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> Took typing For, classes in high former, school. No, sorry. A plus. Former, <laughs> like former uh, ranger and former Secret Service agent. You know, former badass. A you plus know, in typing class. All the way, <laughs> very, 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 very authentic American, too. You know, you know, he, he apparently his... hold up. Apparently doesn't know what hashtag means. <laughs> but he got a minor shift in, three. <laughs> got a minor in fucking computer science, so he knows a little bit of C plus plus a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, man. Just a little bit. I mean, that's basic. the shit you learn a basic training, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Couldn't get you know, into Cisco. But... He, know, he knows Hello World. He knows how to do that with fucking done. <laughs> Fuck, fucking pristine. Um, but nah, he he deactivates the thing, and everybody's like, "Yay, <laughs> the world is saved!" As the as him and the president are walking outside New Orleans White House, and I'm like, "Oh, hmm. you know, I still want to point out why." In the White House, would you be holding next generation weaponry that's roof mounted? Why because would you have that? Why would you have that on the property? I feel that that could be a real thing. Can't quite. Test I believe that there out. might be a turn up there. I can believe there'd be one turn up there or something. No, like but, that. but come but on. But who's to say? Who's to say? Having something like that should be unmanned. <laughs> well, let's test that because theory out. All I'll it takes buy, is I'll a hacker. Buy. I'll buy a mini drone and try to fly it over DC and hope the guy I don't get shot down. Because apparently, funny enough, I think during the pandemic, apparently, like DC had an influx of unmanned drones from people flying in DC yeah, airspace. Yeah, they did. And they kept they getting, did. they got shot down by Secret Service, and they were like, "Yeah, you ain't supposed to be flying them shits in DC." Oh no, going. yeah, Chris, they were sniping them out the sky. <laughs> and this is what look when oh, I heard man, that about shit that is short man. This is the thing I, look everybody I need y'all to learn this about Washington DC okay the shit you see in movies that's movies okay the shit that happens in real life in DC is far more scary there than are snipers really on those of. there are snipers no bullshit on those do you know how White many House. guns there are rockets every do you know there's actually a do you know there's a there, there, there's a um, what you call them those um those, the, the anti the anti air missiles they're mm-hmm. all they're all around DC. Hey, Black Lives Matter. They're Black, all Black, around DC. Black Black Lives Matter Boulevard. There's a couple of snipers over there. Yeah, yeah. Just chilling. Just chilling. That's their job. They get paid six figures for a reason. Let me my, look. Look, this that's my only problem with this movie. Like, I'm fine. I can buy into all the bullshit because I did. I but my thing is like, I complain. I'm burning on the national ball. Fine. I'm cool. like, this. My, my problem is like. Y'all need to respect the gangster of the United States of America. <laughs> that is all I'm saying. Well, like, you know, y'all know how I am. These the big, these the big peace loving communist ass nigga. You know who I am. But I just felt the Koreans could have should have had a little bit more. This is America. They should have had, should have had on, more casualties on, up front during able, the initial invasion. That's hang all. Hang on, gentlemen. They were able to get away with having that one drone flying around because they did that shit at night. Mm-hmm. At night. Mm-hmm. My thing is this: like, I would have been suffice if there was a little bit more casualties on the Korean side when they initially invaded the White House, because at least then it's like, all right, America ain't no bitch. We took out a good chunk Dude, of this they squad. Got steamrolled. They got they steamrolled. St- <laughs> They steamrolled all the Secret Service. Man, I ain't know that Godzilla, Godzilla took out the Tokyo <laughs> took out the Tokyo police force slower than these niggas took out. Oh, 
Shout out to the Capitol Police who were nowhere there when oh, no, no, this no, D, they got they got shot by that big ass fucking bomber. Remember? Yep. Also, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> if there were if there was anything I if there's anything I can give uh, <laughs> like give what happened. Suddenly, a lot of jobs open up because you know my man got his job back afterwards. We as, need a as, whole as, new set of hey, secret Chris, services. Abby, Aris. Aris, your mama worked at OPM like my mama did. So, well, I'm glad I ain't go to work that day. <laughs> That's my mom. That's my mom. Did you imagine? You imagine you at home and you're like, imagine you at home and you're like, huh? Yeah, glad I work from home today, cause fuck that. I got telework. I, no, no, it'd be like this. Hey, hey, yo, cuz man, I'm trying to go down to bus face house, man. We trying to get some weed. Yeah, man, I don't think we can go outside today. Yeah, man. Also, <laughs> shout out to you just see the smoke coming from the White House. Shout out to the two F-16s that killed an innocent family that crashed into their fucking house. God yep. damn. Like I said, man. Like I said, there's a have fun explaining a, that to insurance. Man, Bruh, F-16 crashed my house. Sure, there's sir. a there's sure. a there's a missing house. There's there's two missing missing houses in Springfield right now. <laughs> <laughs> you say Springfield? When that was Alexandria. When I saw that nigga. they blow up, I was like, that ain't Alexandria." Because you know how planes are. You Arlington. Know, you over, Arlington. You know what I mean? Arlington. Could be, something could like that. Arlington somewhere, but yeah. I don't man. know. Those was houses. So. Mm. So um, whatever. Alex, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's Alexandria. Uh, being portrayed by Langley. Mm. Hey, it's like this. It's, uh, but it's also this. Like, hey, D, yeah. If they coming in that direction from the White House, mm-hmm, how did they come from the Chesapeake Bay? That means they would have to actually swing all around D.C. then come out and do this way. Well, D, that's very simple. The, the motherfuckers that, 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 that did this movie never seen Washington, D.C. or its map ever in his life. So they just assume people are just going to believe it. They just see Chesapeake Bay. They see Andrews Air Force Base. They say, ah, those are things in real life. And they just let it go. They also made it seem like uh, they, they made it seem like this, you know, this terrorist organization was much bigger than what it was when they all got on the ground. Yeah, they 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 really were like the equivalent of a dead cell familiar to man. It like, was two dead basketball no, no, teams. That's all the was. No, no, this is this is the genome soldiers at one hundred percent their <laughs> their potential. Dude, yeah, Gerard Butler was killed with the genome oh, soldiers. Let me tell you Thank something. You Gerard Butler took out his fucking henchmen with ease, man. Snap fucking multiple dudes necks and shit. I'm like, wow, he ain't really have to waste a bullet much. All right, shit. All right, cool. <laughs> Bullets make too much noise. I mean, the fucking sub boss before he fought Rick Ewan had this much health and shit. I'm like, well, that was that was quick. <laughs> Next that, bam. All right, let's go. Oh, there wasn't man. enough time to develop that character in particular. <laughs> there wasn't. Like, See, this is a, Richard, this... there was nobody else in, that was a villain that was actually. Flushed no. out. Even Dylan no, no, McDermott no. was just ha, ha, white. No, no, no. Guy. See, <laughs> see, for the sub boss, like, okay, Chris, here, I can fix it. You know how you would have made him a more badass sub boss? Mm-hmm. Have Bannon kill his brother. Mm. That if that character nice. had a brother, brother, you know, and he just happened to be named Carl, <laughs> you know, you kill his brother. <laughs> And have him come back in the end, only to get d- gunned down by the president, I, not by banning. It would I be feel, by the president. Another thing about this movie, and a lot of movies do this. I like how I, I find it funny that they somehow managed to get somebody, an actual anchor from MSNBC or CNN, to actually do news anchoring shit in these yeah, damn action got, movies. What's the name? I forgot. His was, name. It Lawrence, was it Lawrence O'Donnell? I think. I think that's in that. I, 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 I think it's more. I think I it's Lawrence. I always O'Donnell. see him on MSNBC, but I don't know his name. I think it's Lawrence O'Donnell. But, I know. Yeah, was, like I know if this was done today, it'd be Anderson Cooper. Man, well, Anderson nah, Cooper. Think, was, a, Anderson, Anderson Cooper cost if you what, what, No, movie, wasn't Anderson know. Cooper in World War Z? <sighs> was he? He might have been. Hell, he, he was in one of those forever. Movies. No, for real. Yeah. he's in one of those movies. But that being said, no, Anderson's like, no. If I'm going to be in a movie, you fucking pay me. And I'm like, you know what? He's right. Look at that's Anderson Wakanda. Cooper. You pay him, man. He wasn't Wakanda forever. I know he had to laugh. Like, so I, I just say the, I say blah 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 dies. All right, cool. Bet. So oh my the, god. So what? So, so what? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. So you get Don Lemon at a discount then? I, man, how much would you cost for Don Lemon? <laughs> oh my god, guys. 
there's a plane and they just killed everything out there. It's like that, that's wrong. <laughs> he ain't that gay, dude. <laughs> On New Year's, he is. Oh, yeah. it's New <laughs> Year's. <laughs> Look, I let I don't even count Don on New Year's. I'm what? tired of y'all trying. No, no, no. I'm tired of y'all taking pictures of him and trying to say, oh, that's all the stop. That nigga's a nigga all his life. Stop trying to say he only get black <laughs> and real caddy <catty> gay. <laughs> well, look, the gayness comes out when he's oh, it comes out on New Year's. It comes out. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I mean, you know, when I saw this fashion, I'm like, yo, Don, this is the third year in a row, man. Chill, nigga. <laughs> Chill, because if you come up here with no shirt on, they're gonna fire your black ass. Yeah, it's, so. it's, like when, it's like when Wolf Blitzer was in fucking Iron Man two and shit, and then the, you know, it, and and the fucking uh the 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 um stock the stock man in Iron Man Hell. two as well, or the we two second o- or the two second Obama appearance in Transformers two. And we was even talking about um like um and um what was that um when we did the fugitive, Remember Lester this, Holt, Lester mm-hmm. Holt. Lester Holt before he was even in on, on the main anchor in NBC was in the movie. They always get even even low ranking anchors. You be like, you be like, like I bet that's an actor. No, that's that's the nigga that worked for Memphis ABC. <laughs> but nah, man, know, this, that's a real that's a real anchor right there. Yeah, you know uh, this movie. Um, this is how twenty. Like I remember this too, because because at this point, Twitter. A lot of us were kind of talking about this movie a lot and stuff. And like I said, the comparisons of White House Down and all that stuff. Um, the Croods beat it out opening weekend. And I remember everybody <laughs> was, I remember everybody befuddled that the fucking Croods beat it out because they were I don't know how to I look to this day, I don't know how the Croods did it, man. Ryan I Reynolds, don't I guess I don't fucking know. I, you know, was... like like to me, it's an okay movie. I've seen it twice. But it's also, okay. um, I forgot Ellipsis Has Fallen beat out Oz and Great and Powerful. And I remember everybody jerking themselves off in excitement for Oz, Great and Powerful. And I saw the movie and I was like, oh. Boy, you want to talk about that. See, Chris, there are certain flashpoints I can see what millennials (laughs) did. That was one of them. That was, okay. Okay, Linda. We got that little dark story you wanted out so, so bad. Can we we make regular? No, we need Addison Wonderland that, that way too. Okay, okay. But I will never a, forget. I will never forgive any of you, any of you millennials that are taking these villains and making them. I'm tired of it. Oh, that's the one thing I hate about my generation. We did that with way too many edge lords. Uh, I there, hate there, that. There, there, there's a couple of movies in this top ten that I have to comment on. Um, one Spring Breakers. I have to comment on that one because that was the one where we had uh, what's his face looking like riff raff and shit. Um. Spring Break. I barely remember that. Song. Yeah, yeah. That was the, basically all the Nickelodeon chicks were all playing, you know, sexing and shit, and they were robbing yeah, they, banks yeah, and I, shit. Yeah, I know. This um, I barely remember that. <laughs> the Rocks movie, Snitch, where he has a Hispanic wife and not a white wife. I barely Shocker. remember that movie. I barely him, remember that movie. Him and Mr. Punisher himself, aka fucking uh uh uh, what, uh, uh Bernathal. Bernathal yeah, Bernard, played his boy who was Hispanic too, even though I'm like, you're the most white Hispanic motherfucker in this goddamn movie. Um, yeah, The Rock had a Hispanic Also, wife. that was a movie that started a wave of black girls who wanted to have sex with Dwayne Johnson. All of a sudden, they flipped, and now he ain't black enough to do yeah, anything. Yeah, they flipped. That's when it started. It started no, no, in this no. movie. No, no, no. It was really G.I. Joe when he had two black-ass kids, and it was like, so where's the black wife? Oh, nowhere to be found? So Rock don't like black women. I mean, you know what, black wasn't girls. Doom. This this wasn't nah, the nah, this, nah, Doom nah. did not need Doom had no room for women except for the one. So and ever since then, and ever since then, they like, oh, he never would have black. Tyler, Tyler, Perry, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, Tyler, Tyler Perry tried to help him beat the rap by putting Jan Jackson as his love interest, and I'm like, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Sorry, it's not gonna look me. Hey Tyler, the most, Tyler, the most I see what you unearned did. Unearned win. No, no, ever no. In a movie. You say unearned. It's the most unbelievable ass fucking connection I ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> Ain't was, no I way. Like how, it was I like how this woman. I'm still saying it was an unearned win. Oh, it was unearned. I like how, hey Chris, hey Chris. I like how this woman who clearly needed to go to therapy drove her man away and drove him away with not only homophobia. But got this dude killed, and you got Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I gotta be, I gotta be, I gotta be real. In real life, he would survive that hit. 
It yeah, didn't even yeah, look yeah. like it. Really, yeah, when you look back at that movie, <laughs> especially, especially, at, especially at that, <laughs> especially at that scene, especially in that scene, it really didn't look like dude died. I'm like, bro, you would well, have had a neck brace, like neck hey, brace, Chris, you hey, bitch. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, when y'all like me, when y'all like me, when he's driving and he stopped, he's like, oh, "Are you ready?" <laughs> but flip side, flip side. I like the fact you overturned the car around like you about to hit it. <laughs> Flip side though, I like how, and I don't know whether whether to believe this or not, or whether the rock is just chasing trends. I like how he immediately is just latching on to fucking make the stallion. I'm like, I don't believe you, Rock, but okay, okay. No, no, about, I don't believe it's about pride. Attaches. Like nigga, <laughs> I don't believe nobody attaches themselves to making the stallion. You're just a celebrity. That's all you are. That's not because there are certain people, and I would like I love Snoop Dogg, but anytime Snoop shows up, it's not a black or white thing. That's oh, what no. I kind of mean. It's you know what I mean? Snoop. He's a he's, he's he's Megan, as much as I can say whatever I want, she's earned that celebrity to the point where people just want to be around her. She's magnetic yeah. like that. So to me, that's not a black or white thing. Is when people try to make that a black or white thing where it gets really stupid to me, and that's the reason why I hate a lot of the discourse because it's like Shut oh. up. <laughs> and third movie, Jack the Giant Slayer. That was a thing. Wow. That was a thing. I forgot that movie. You want to talk about a movie that was a flop? I thought it was okay, but it flopped. It had an idea, Woo. but that was during that time they were taking all these fairy tales and trying to throw some action into it and shit. Exactly. Again, I will never forgive all you millennial you, edgelords for forcing these were, movies. How do you waste Ewan McGregor's talent? Obi Wan Kenobi, you wasted him in that fucking movie. Well, you want to talk like I said, the Giant Slayer, Hanson Grello, they both had that same flavor of, oh, that's a good idea, flop. <laughs> oh, also the movie that everybody fucking sucked the dick out of the same year, Silver Linings Playbook. You want to know what? I only seen it once, and I don't remember nothing about it. Basically, two crazy people that are made for each other. Yeah, I know, but I don't remember nothing about it. Bradley like they, Cooper, I just remember, guy like that you loves said, the Eagles a lot. Yeah, I'm just a good looking guy. I like the Eagles, but you could be crazy a little bit. I'm, pro- I'm problematic. You know, yeah. I'm really oh. I'm problematic. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm a force for girl who hasn't worked out her problems, but I'm perfect for you. Yeah, and I'm toxic too. So but we should j- fuck. <laughs> so guys, this movie, you know, despite um all White the House down, no, the, like, despite White House down being the I guess the better film, it managed to get two sequels. Yeah, I I think it's just because of the fact that it's like it it really hit. Because again, former Golden Globus, they knew like yo get some just wang bim action, just blowing up shit, just just go for it. And to their credit, you get three movies out of it. They they got a formula and it works. Because I kind of to be honest, I kind of like London has fallen way more. To be honest. That's just Do you me. like it more than Angel has fallen? Mm, that's a tough. One. Angel was good, man. <laughs> Angel was good. Gotta admit, it was. It was really good. I, I like. I really hate to be that guy and say that I think it's the best of the trilogy. I mean, and also, I gotta but... see London. I I really gotta see London has fallen because I didn't watch that one. I didn't watch it enough. Oh, okay. Put it that way. Okay. And yeah, Angel is still fresh in my like fresh in my mind. So. Like when I go back and watch this movie, I'm like, okay, this listen, this movie was crazy. I I can tell but... you why. I can tell you why this went the way it went. Mm-hmm. Because Olympus has fallen 70 million and made 170 back. 60 with, million for the sequel. With White House down, that was 150 million dollars, and it only made 205 million back. Ooh. That's why it didn't get a sequel. That yeah. thing barely made money. They they, they knew how to crap. Yeah, yeah. The, these movies they stretch their budgets out, and I, I think that's the reason why the reason why I like London's is falling. They eased up on the CGI, and they actually did film it in London. And I think it's because the company behind it they are overseas, so it made it easier for them to go in London and film the scene. So they didn't have to do a lot of CGI. They focus on the action, so it didn't feel one. Like again, this movie was filmed in, in New Orleans, and I'm just sitting back like. Why can't you just make it a make up a story about the president visiting New Orleans or some shit? No, this is just during that. But Chris, this was dur- but yeah, this peace was summit in New that. Orleans. I don't know during Essence Fest. I don't fucking know. But this is just- <laughs> this was. 
I don't know. I'm hey, hey, that's the only thing I know that's oh. big in New Orleans. That's but this is during the time where New Orleans it was super cheap to film at. They filmed fantastic so that, that shitty ass Fantastic Four movie in New Orleans. You remember the year? Look, I don't know if anybody look look if you were alive at the time, you would know about you people would know about this. But after Hurricane Katrina, it was well known that it was ultra cheap to um shoot in new orleans baton rouge all that so mm-hmm. there's there's been a ton of movies that were produced down in louisiana Black the movie thing scene. for d the thing for d this is just me i you know i don't know what the state of louisiana is doing with that money or whatever but it feels to me georgia took advantage of that situation and made georgia become a media hub you mm-hmm. mean to tell me they haven't done that with motherfucking uh, louisiana yet how is that even possible? You see what I'm saying? That should have been easy. Like, you're filming movies, Hollywood movies down there. And they yes, a- even the real B movies, too. A lot mm-hmm. of B movies were filmed in New Orleans. But that being said, you would think they would have done something with that. But D, they haven't really done D, just, D, just wait. Just wait for New Line or somebody to film the Resident Evil 7 movie spinoff. In Louisiana. They already, they probably are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You know I mean, how they that took place in Dolby, Louisiana. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Every time they shoot down there, they don't do what Georgia do. Every time they shoot in Georgia, made in Georgia. You think they will get fucking? I'm just saying. That's the. I don't know what they're doing down there. I don't know what they're doing down there. But whatever, man. You know. So I mean, like, that's the uh, interesting fact, though. Right after Katrina, that's when then the filming in New but they, Orleans. But like out. I said, for them to go from and then sixty million for the sequel, and I believe what was the budget for Angel Has Fallen? Uh, probably the same amount. Probably a little bit more. Forty million. Woo! They went like, how do you trickle? And well, no, 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 because the history <laughs> of the company was they started. Because they, because for every movies that they were getting success with the angel, with the um, angel has fallen, with the Olympus has fallen series, they were experimenting around with other big movies that didn't get any returns. So they had to kind of downsize. As they're playing, they're going. playing it safe. Yeah. So that's why Angel has fallen made the money that it did. It's like, well, it's a forty million dollar well, budget. So no shit. Well, know? let's look on. A, let's look in contrast in that same year. Hellboy came out and that was fifty million and only made fifty five. Yeah. Millennium had a lot of problems. <laughs> so, That's all I can say. They, 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 let's put it this way, Chris. It wasn't a sinking ship. There's a couple holes in this motherfucker, though. There's a couple. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> so, okay, so where, okay, so where are we at? But it ain't sinking that. We good. We good. So where are we at on uh, next time? Next time will be the Wild Bunch. Yeah. If they oh. move, if they move, kill them. There's going to be a whole lot of old actors. So, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so I okay. So real quick before we go, Millennium Media after Angels Has Fallen, Rambo: Last Blood, both Hitman bodyguard movies, Till Death, Jolt, and The Protege. I forgot Millennium did Protege. Protege was actually decent. It was a yeah. decent film. Yeah. 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 Oh, and the Antonio Banderas. Semi underrated movie, uh, Acts of Vengeance. Hmm. I don't remember. I, I remember it. It's see a direct to DVD movie, but it's like him and Antonio Banderas and Carl Urban. Is I, was gonna, I, I was going to say, but th- no, th- this would have been a completely different movie because, well, D would get this. Do you remember a certain movie that came out in the 70s that was supposed to be called Acts of Vengeance, but they, but they went with a much more suggestive title? <laughs> Actually, who was that movie? What movie was that? I forgot what movie that was, yeah. Rape was that squad. that one Death Wish? What was it? It was Rape Squad. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Rape Squad. Yes, that's a movie. No, it ain't worth looking at. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Oof. 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 But anyway. Oof. It's barely it worth is- riffing, but. Mm-mm. But anyway, next movie, we we'll go back in old Hollywood. Y'all motherfuckers better be up for this shit. Tell your Ernest grandpa. Or Ernest Bernard is going to show up in your dreams. You're going to be like, hey, Ed Asner, what you doing here? This is going to be sad. Hey, <laughs> tell, tell, tell your grandfather, tell your great grandfather, tell your uncles to tune in for the wild bunch. We know who Lee, Mar- Lee, Lee Marvin is. B, he's not in this movie. Well, he should have been. He should have. <laughs> he should have. <laughs> we'll catch you We'll down. see y'all next time. Next time, folks. The limits is falling. <laughs> <laughs>
Olympus is falling. Also, let me get a cheese pizza. Fuck a couple biscuits. Fuck. I'm losing a lot of blood here. It's okay, a flapjacks. No, no. Nah, nah, flapjacks. Fuck that. Fuck that. Like, like, fuck that. Give, me the, like, give me the works. Give me the works at Ben's Chili Bowl. I want Chipotle Bowl. Down the street. Bubba, let me get a peach. Let me get a peach cobbler. Hey, real talk. The way this movie went, Ben's Chili Bowl was literally outside the gate. They fucking. <laughs> Boy, there's like five niggas outside Ben's Chili Bowl. Y'all ain't closing, right? Yeah, that's like five. I got some, man. Now you see all this shit, Mo? <laughs> Are you sure?